What do I think going into this? Uh, I hear it's short. That's good. Uh, it looks a lot like PT, which is eh, probably not good. I feel like we're, we're so... How long has it been since PT came out? It's fucking like eight years or something now or something. God. Uh, this game's free, so that's good. That's good. Credit where it's due, it's free. Can I be mad at this? Maybe, I don't know. Um, <laughs> free 99. Um, and kudos for having a, a, uh, a person of color protagonist that is rare in the Silent Hill games. <laughs> I don't think there's been one yet. <laughs> See, Downpour, no. Shattered Memories, no. Origins, no. Homecoming, no. Credit where it's due. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's all I got going into this. I really, I have not a notion. Um, and all I've heard is that it's very on the nose. And it's, uh, my, my impression, I've not read much about this or anything, is that it is, I, I've, I've been told, this could be wrong, I've been told it kind of means well, but it stumbles it. Which is better than Bloober Team's, like, Whoa, isn't it fucked up that people have bad brains? Isn't that scary? Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. What the fuck is this? What am I doing? What is this? You're a nobody. All your fault, coward. Boo. <laughs> You can't tell I'm already tipsy. That's why I'm like super chatty. I've heard that the the warning is true. Um, I'm glad this is standard and all that. Um, I do wish there was some sort of. Um, I think Bob might have discussed this at some point. I wish that there was a more standardized, like the way that um, I think you know. All games with fucked up shit and it should have like a warning, but I feel like you should be able to opt into the warning too, where it's just like, we have a content warning for you that we would like to tell you about, confirm, and then it tells you. Because some people don't have any of these triggers, don't care about this, maybe they don't want things spoiled. I understand that idea. Um, and I think there is a best of both worlds where you can opt in if you want to, but that's fine. This is better than nothing. Do not get me wrong. Uh, but yeah, suicide, self-harm, abuse, trauma, and bullying. So my normal life. So that they're both visible. You know, I'm always bumping this up. I gotta see stuff. Subtitles on. Thank you. Default. Love a default subtitle on. I like the um, compliment already. I like the um, title treatment. I like this like almost chromatic aberration uh, going on with the title where it's got this like shadow of the purple on the right side and like the indigo on the right or whatever. That's cool. That's cool. Erotic visual novel with content warnings. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> anyway. Again! Two of them. <laughs> Watch the fuck out. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. No, I agree. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. <laughs> There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own, without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me, to adult me. <laughs> it's a very cute teenage opinion. Cool shirt, girl. 
She's realistically greasy like a teen. Oh no, my eyes are glitching out. I hate when that happens. There's nothing scary about this. It's just the janitor's closet, the regular ass janitor's closet. Same font as, um, I think, uh, PT, just a uh, subtitle font. I think it's standard though. The villa. How do I get my phone to display glamor shots of my friends that are talking to me? I don't know how to change the backgrounds like that. I like just figured out how to have a custom background whatsoever, so. This is a spoiler for something that happened, by the way, in my life that was cool, but look forward to it. Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. So FYI, I, am, I will reestablish that I'm a big baby with first-person games, first-person views. So I might actually be a scaredy cat for this because I am a unique baby about that specifically. The Zentral Museum. Looks nice. Yeah, I think that's a cute, like, maybe a Silent Hill 4 reference, perhaps. Oh, no, the door closed. Come on. What, do you live in the opposite of a barn? I wanted that open. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you suck. Welcome. Okay, well, welcome, thief. Welcome to the city of you suck. No hope, or no, you suck hope. No jobs or cash either. <laughs> this model. Is it this building? It does look like it. Yeah, you didn't need to say it. I could have surmised it myself. In den Tagen der Berlins? Are we not in America? Villa in, in den Tagen der Berlins. Hmm. The frame rate is not great on this game. <laughs> it's not, it's not just me. It's not the stream. It, the frame rate's not great. Oh, wow. I'm Banksy. Ah. Plan to rebuild Kettenstacht, an overview. Kettenstacht, a town with a long history as a thriving border stronghold. In, re in recent years, those in their 20s have begun leaving en masse, causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale wide project is to rebuild Kettenstacht and return it to its former glory with the help of Chinese investment firms. Der Plan. <laughs> I just like that it's called Der Plan. Uh, German's fun. Uh, I think it's German. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem. I, I agree, vis-a-vis -vis Silent Hill. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations are a problem. Uh, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new Kettenstadt. Wow. So this place didn't always suck. Wow. It's dreamed of this? Uh. I shouldn't make fun of vocal fry. I vocal fry all the time. There's no shame in vocal fry. Stop shaming vocal fryers. Oh, baby daddy. Plans to rebuild Kettenstadt have suffered yet another major setback as instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 
global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures due to unfortunate external circumstances, Kettenstadt has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. I decided to do newscaster voice like at the very end of that. COVID-19. You know, like COVID-19 didn't stop investors from investing more than they should invest in projects, but okay. Sure. Everyone's losing their futures. Well. Oh. A slave to the system. She's cute, okay? I, I, I'm not gonna make fun of a, a purposefully cringe teenager. She's purposefully cringe, she's 15 or whatever, and this is cool to her. She's very, very abreast of the world and how bad it is. Oh, I can't read this? Oh, that really looked like I coulda. It probably would have been in German though. It wouldn't have helped me. God, if they did, if they did the fucking Lisa through the, the gap, I would have put the damn controller down. I would have been like, that's the stream. No, thank you. <laughs> Where are you, Maya? Mm-hmm. Great. It's long. Thug life. <laughs> the world gets the reset button slowly poisoned and you don't know it i thought that said no seafood uh, <laughs> shit i'm gonna graffiti the word shit yeah i don't know why the graffiti's in english if this is in germany maybe i don't know maybe maybe there's, maybe there's something else going on no good news thug life release your soul <laughs> Anarchy symbol! Ah! <laughs> You'll never become anything. I don't know why all these doomers decided to graffiti this hallway. This city's over. Guys, the city is over. We need a new save saver. <laughs> what does that say? Ridiculous? Ridiculous. That's a good tag name. Ridiculous. Get me out of here? Not so good. Not as good of a tag. I miss the internet. <laughs> September 28th, 2021. Notice of provisional meeting. To all villa residents, we have received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope you can find the time to attend. Mm-hmm. Okay. No exit. <laughs> oh, thank God. It's the Italian plan. I always... I love a good Italian plan. Okay. Reasonable. Hmm. That's what you do to keep corsages fresh. So it's not that weird, actually, that there's flowers in the fridge. <laughs> yep, that's what it says. I'm trapped. I've always been trapped. She's cute. That's funny. I don't know. Spooky baby. Ah woo. Yeah. See how nice that baby looks in the Death Stranding 2 trailer? What the fuck? They have figured out baby technology. That baby looked like a damn baby. I thought Rose looked good in Resident Evil 8. It's like, whoa, this makes Rose look like shit. This is a baby. Ooh, nice guy. He's fun. 202. Squeepoo. If there's a Squeepoo in this game, I will forgive it 20% for whatever it ends up being. I'm a big sucker for Squeepoo. Do I have it? Do I have it at the ready? No, this is the air horn. That's the reverse air horn. Is this Squeepoo? I love it. Damn it! 
That's Squeepo. I wish I could label this thing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, these are fun. <laughs> Suffocate Tampley? Oh, family. <laughs> uh huh. I think only 14 year olds tag this place. They're talented. Swag. There's a monkey. Beautiful humanity. <laughs> Banana person. Cool wolf. Banksy. We have a Banksy over here. <laughs> Thanks for clipping this, the Squeepoo incident. Got someone's ass on the wall. Don't be manipulated. Believe in your senses. <laughs> This is, I'm getting a lot of advice from the walls here. Like, I'm inundated with advice from the walls right now. This is a lot. We'll repaint it all. Okay. <laughs> I like this guy. This guy's fun. Idiot cell. Got him. Fucking got him. Cute. Crange. <laughs> uh, uh, Crunk. Crunk? Maybe it's Crunk. Maybe I read it right. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm the type of person that, like, overly uh, is interested in the environment. Oh, that's fun. I like skeletons. If you like skeletons, uh, listen to my podcast that I edit and am playing a gay autistic slime person in. Um, <laughs> didn't. N ahead. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's what I say about my fashion. I put that over my closet. I put abandon all hope ye who enter here over my closet where all my clothes are at. Did Maya do this? Did Sephiroth do this? Cherry blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's amazing. <gasps> She's amazing. This city is a blank canvas. Begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. Oh my god, FMV? You're kidding. I want to show the hidden side of girls. They're remedying? Their impulses. Their urges. The hidden side of girls. What are you hiding inside? <laughs> Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. Lesbians. Yes, yes. How could I ever be proud of myself? I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's good, actually. Yeah, I've been saying for goddamn fucking years that Silent Hill has been extremely being, like, missing out by not telling stories of, like, the people of color and LGBTQ people and stuff like that. It's like, we're just focusing on, like, the white guy protagonists consistently and their man pain, and it's just like, okay, yeah, but I think that well is really dry. Um, like... I think like it would be, you know, more interesting. And also like, you know, since Silent Hill, I I believe core of my being, Silent Hill is at its best when it is coming at it from an angle of empathy and it's not like, whoa, freak shit. Isn't this freak shit? It's like, no, isn't it like fucked up that this could happen to anybody? Don't you feel bad about that? Like we're all fragile in different ways and it's like they're missing out by not telling more stories from you know, minorities. So yeah. <laughs> Is the black mailman nothing to you? <laughs> yeah, Howard, yeah. Um, mm, he's one of the magic, magic you-know-whats uh, that I think Spike Lee or Jones talked about. I should know the difference between those guys. 
I'm not a movie person. For a graffiti artist, spray paint and a blank wall are all you need. In Kettenstadt, the walls of a particular apartment building are the canvas for several artists, with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB, Maya, features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting that her name is CB, which is short for cherry blossom. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reached out to her for comment, keeping her eyes fixed on her new piece. She had this to say, All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside, but I can't, sh but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with, a girl in the, with the girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. Spike Jones is white. That's stupid. Uh, don't be. No. <laughs> CB added that the flowers she depicts on the young girls she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. Because she's fucking 15. Yes, I'm going to allow the phrase white is stupid. Duh. How many times do I have to fucking allow, uh, obliterate that twink? Uh, <laughs> the flowers represent girls overcoming past traumas or at least their desire to do so. Everyone can see how talented she is. Uh. Oh god, girl. Obliterate that white stupid twink. Allow. Someone I follow has to allow vile white pervert. Like every show. Allow. <laughs> this is a stream where you are allowed to make fun of white people. It is fine. We deserve it. I love that there's like traditional media here too. Like there's a palette knife. Got some baby noises happening. Goo goo gaga. Goo goo gaga. That's a stock sound. <laughs> now that I'm a audio editor, I'm like even more attuned to stock sounds besides besides Squeepoo. Like I hit the fuck it. Oh my god, what did I watch recently? The head. Oh my god. What did I watch recently that had the cougar noise that you always hear like rawr, rawr, rawr. that that noise? God, it happened constantly. What the fuck was it? Shit, this is gonna bother me. But it was like it was so every time I heard it, I was like, shit, there it is! Again! Ooh! Leo pointing at TV uh the Demon Knight! Thank you, Chippy, thank you. <laughs> It was Demon Knight, which is a really good movie. Please watch Demon Knight. Josh Moniz! <laughs> Turns out we're actually in Silent Hill and being punished by wildly alternating good and bad content to keep us perpetually punished. You're right. You're right. But yeah, Demon Knight is a really good movie. Everybody should watch it. It's a Tales of the Crypt movie. Don't let that stop you. It's really Really a good, like, action horror B-movie that absolutely rules. Billy Zane's in it, living his best fucking life, being as camp as possible, playing Satan as if it was the genie from Aladdin. Watch the fucking thing. But yeah, there is, every time, every time uh, something otherworldly happens, there is that, like, rawr, rawr, rawr noise. <laughs> oh no, the baby. I see they're, they're ribbing on, uh, they're, they're, Ribbon on the Silent Hill 3 jump scare-ish, where Heather goes through a similar thing in a room with mannequins in it. Billy Zane is amazing and horrible. No, just amazing. Take it back, Axel. Thank you. But take it back. Take it back, Axel. Say it ain't so, Axel. Billy Zane's perfect. <laughs> You have to, if you, have you watched Demon Knight, Axel? Because you will take back what you just done said. I think it's fun that they put this spooky guy here as like a little soft jump scare in case you forgot about there being a spooky guy here. It's fun. Who's there? <gasps> oh, my controller went, but doink, doink. Amelie, you're all right. You asleep. You still asleep. Sorry if I woke you up. Didn't see you at your job yesterday. Still not feeling good. You taking your meds? Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Don't worry. How are you feeling? It's not the same girl. It's a different girl. Amelie. I'm okay. I can actually get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you. Seriously, don't worry about it. All's good now. I'm still a little tired, but I'm going to get up soon. I will also, you know, um, credit where it's due. 
this is how people type. They're right about it. This is normal. Nobody's using, like, excessive slang and stuff like that. That's a relief. No, it's about right. It's normal. Oh, yeah. What's with this place? Why all the sticky notes? The mannequins have catheters? Ugh. Really? Loser. Stupid. Liar. Crazy. Dumbass. Doofus. Goofball. Gay. She never said anything nice. <laughs> Cringe Lord. <laughs> uh, yeah, a Christian movie level insults, but you can't just put you can't just put dyke on the wall or something. You can't we're not at that level yet. Games aren't art enough yet where you put dyke on the wall or something like that. Be realistic. Uh, <laughs> it's all your fault. Insane moron, dumb freak. I do so enjoy making butter. Did you know that Billy Zane was in an entirely silent film based on Ed Wood's last script that was lost media for a while until it was leaked two decades ago? Huh. You have piqued my interest, Josh. That is interesting. I like the one that just says, no way. <laughs> Is that an insult? Oh, bitch, we have cunt. Ooh, we have bitch and cunt. They went there. They could, they could say dyke if they went as far as bitch and cunt. You will never become anything. Slut. Got him with a slut, too. She's gross. I like that there's just a couple of new ones in places. That's fun. Hey, thank you, protofan. Someone with prime. Like a winner. <laughs> oh no, my... My record player. Child abuse slash neglect in Kettenstadt. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kennestadt last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. The recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. My mom loved me. <laughs> well. <laughs> this town is lousy with child abuse. <laughs> Oh man, stuff my ass in the locker. There is quite a like lag. Like there's just like just enough like mushiness to this where it's just like this doesn't feel great. But <laughs> shut up, shut up. <laughs> oh, thank you, Proto Fan. Moi. Tell your friends about Skull Tenders. <laughs> Next episode, I just finished editing tonight. I love it. I love it so much. And now I have La Bamba in my head. You'll see why. Creek. Remember PT? Bathrooms exist because of PT. PT invented bathrooms. <laughs> oh yeah, this is like a weird Europe toilet with the, the thing on the back and the thing up here. Bizarre. This is how you shit out there. <laughs> Absurd. Kind of a muppety looking hand there. I'm sorry. Mom. 
Yikes. I'm glad they didn't show it. I'll see how this all shakes out. It doesn't, even even I so do far, so it doesn't seem as egregious butter. as Bloober Team. <laughs> this is just like PT, which stands for problematic toilets. <laughs> it does. Not a lot of people know that, but it is true. Yeah, who has a straight razor? I haven't seen a straight razor in my life in real life. Have I? Yeah, the standards are very subterranean. So, I'm actually, you know, I'm coming at this from a very forgiving perspective for me, I think. I'm enjoying this so far. This doesn't, this don't suck. I relate to being an angsty little bitch. That's me. <laughs> Please don't jump scare me. I'm little. I don't like being jump scared. I'm just a little guy and I don't like being jump scared. What about you, Anita? Oh, is that my name? You didn't look so hot the other day. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, what about therapy? That doesn't really do much to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Parents just don't understand. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. Oh, did they get like school shooting or something? I know, I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. They feel bad, you know, all of them. Mute. I don't hate this. I don't hate this so far, really. This is okay. It could be fucking way worse. Maya? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> We're PTing. Oh, I'd love to turn around and see the thing, but I'm scared it's gonna, like, boot me back to a weird place. They should be using that light to, like, make it seem like this thing's closer behind me, in my opinion. But doink, doink. I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? You here? I'm in the studio. Maya? There's a monster here. Are you okay? Open the door. I want to see the monster. Can I? Oh, I wish I could peek out the fucking. Mm. If I had a hand in this, if I helped make this or direct this, I would have had the light from behind project even if the monster isn't actually close the light from behind projecting her shadow would have projected a monster shadow really big and spooky that should have happened in my opinion that would have that would have cinched it and would have nailed it um and i would have put a peephole here as a bit of an optional i dare you sort of thing which is also like really like ties in with like silent hole fours sort of like i dare you look out the people thing Hi, Chippy. Just in case you didn't see in the chat, I want to let you know, when you're running away from the monster, you can push down one of the shoulder buttons and you will look behind you while still running forward. <gasps> you so can you push down the shoulder buttons to look behind you when you're running. Yep. Wow. So you can't look at the monster while still running away. Damn. Good to know for the future. Thank you. Yep, I Sorry I missed it in the chat. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Chippy. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> um... But yeah, I would have put a peephole here so you can kind of look out here and there's like nothing there. Or is there? Optional jump scare. Optional. Just enough to keep you on edge, you know? Horror is so much about pacing and it's so much about restraint. And it's so much about having things you can miss. And pacing is very hard in a video game. It's not like it's a movie, where a movie, like, you have absolute, total control over the pacing of a movie. Video games, not so much. People can dawdle, look out windows. Yeah. 
you know? <laughs> oh, Japanese tatami mat. Teenage suicides continue at infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Kettenstadt has become known for its suicides, with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Despite re repeat events, this building, abandoned ever since the development slash management company declared bankruptcy, remains easily accessible. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though with many continuing to enter it, <laughs> I said that with the wrong inflection, with many continuing to enter it and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local residents' security concerns continue to grow. Please, not Maya too. They could she put up fences. acting weird lately. Ah, these. That's fun. <laughs> so I'm just appreciating Lana Del Prey being a funny name. Uh, these are like uh, warding off uh, strips of paper. Just this singular room is reminding me of... <sighs> what the fuck is the name of this thing? Dread Out? No. Maybe it's Dread Out. There was also a movie from it. The movie version of that. No, it's not Devotion. Devotion, yes, but not Fatal Frame. <laughs> I think it was Dread Out. The Indonesian game. Yeah, the Indonesian game. I think it's Dread Out. I think I'm thinking of Dread Out, but detention, yeah, sure. Uh, but God, Devotion is such a fucking good game. Jesus Christ. Gorals. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. <laughs> With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. Not, not that. They bloom beautiful. They fall beautiful. Just like girls. That's how I want my life to be. <laughs> the, that was like clearly a JPEG. <laughs> I have to find her. Adorable. Clearly an adorable JPEG of a great. <laughs> huh. All right. Wonder which shoulder button lets me look behind. I can't do it now. That monster. It's gone, right? Where is the studio? Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> this is a fun game to look at. There's a lot of fun details in it. I appreciate, even though they're goofy. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I mean, it feels like they told, you know, the art department, make shit as if you were 13. Yeah. They did it. Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. <laughs> oh, there's fan art. I missed it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Where the heck is the the fan art one? There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> yes. Yes. Watch skull tenders. Listen to skull tenders. I hate you, dork, insane, stupid. Watch skull tenders. Fucking lovely. Thank you, Ar Arloa. <laughs> I mean, watch and listen are synonymous with podcasts. I feel. I get it. I get it. 
All of the teenagers interviewed said they were ashamed of the risque selfies they posted online. More people should be. They also claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. What all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experienced after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. The approval of my peers? What? Furthermore, with, even when acknowledged, the teenagers could still not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. What about us 35 year olds? I'm in that loop. Whatever. Skill issue. <laughs> Self-deprecating humor is, like, one of the best types. I'm sorry. It's true. <laughs> I do so enjoy <laughs> making butter. The Silent Hill was the cyberbullying we received along the way. <laughs> sure was. Darn tootin'. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, the famous suicide spot. I can zoom with my eyeballs! I didn't know I could zoom with my eyeballs. Voip. Cool. Hey, thank you. Take it breezy. Appreciate you. Oh, it didn't. Wish there was like a jog button could do with a jog she only puts why do you only take your phone out when you're inside that's kind of strange oh it's for the light I understand credit where it's due I was making a dumb observation that was not true this is where you belong Anita if that's your name Can you pause and see if there's a menu? There's this. Um, select doesn't do anything. I think I just took a picture by accident. Oops. Feel free to visit that room anytime. I will, it's my home. Uh, don't be manipulated. I want to seek happiness. Create a new... Wind? Something. Oh, that one's nice. That's very nice. I mean, you gave this- you gave this game to the art student. Um... <laughs> mind? A new mind? No, it's a W. It's a W. That's a- that's a W. Oh, you want to see the options? There's not much going on here. Very, very standard stuff. Camera controls and... Yeah. Nothing crazy. No, we're not too far into this. I don't think. I've seen a couple things. Creepy. Maya. I hope you're all right. That's nice. It's goofy, but it's ni it's well well done. Oh, this is very well done. These kids are talented, okay? They're talented. <laughs> I miss art. I miss stupid bullshit art. This is why I love Kojima. I tweeted about this, about how, like, I feel so similar to Kojima the way I feel towards, like, Paris Fashion Week, couture fashion, um, and also, like, um, like performance art, like weird performance art. I'm just like, yay, it's stupid. I like it. <laughs> like, yay, I'm glad you're doing, you're expressing something stupid. Yay, more of this. More of this is actually rules. I'm not being sarcastic. Yay. <laughs> oh, it's a little spaceman. That's nice. I 
also like the um, the audio atmosphere so far. You know, it reminds me of the um, the hallway in Woodside Apartments, the one that breathes on like the third floor, fourth floor. She's got that like, as like the track. This also has like kind of a breathing, heaving quality to it. But dunk, dunk. By the way, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So, once you're at college, are you not coming back here? Thank you, Inflection Pixel. No way, I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go, it's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine, I can't do anything. Just, I don't know what I'd do if I got in. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead you to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Gosh. Amelie doesn't get it. Amelie, you do not get it? Gotcha. So he don't really like this place. I get it. <laughs> I agree, Axel. <laughs> And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. There's no way out. I forgot I left my water outside. Be right back. I don't think anything spooky will happen. But be right back. Also, I have I have a new hydration screen that I have not finished making, but it makes sense to play it here. It might not show up on the YouTube VOD because it's a song that will probably get copyright tagged. So you people on YouTube might not see this. Sorry. Vod, we're back. I probably I, I probably edited that out because that song's gonna get copyright flagged. Uh, it is "Thirsty Need Wawa" from the Neverhood, uh, which is, which I think is a cool game. I haven't played it myself, but it has really fucking good music though. And it's by someone who sucks. Doug Tenapel uh, is a bad man who sucks. Hates trans people. Ah, <laughs> oh, get a life. CB. Keep out your your on your onto the bed. Ah, Daisy. Hmm. They do that sometimes, Clover. They don't even realize they do in it. lovely if I had this as a kid I would have got so much work done art artistically god imagine as a kid having access to an abandoned building where you could paint anything on the walls <sighs> I wish oh I'm jealous of these kids not gonna lie it's fucking whips oh yeah it's a schism book that means Sketchbook. Are these Maya's sketches? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. I understand this child. Oh my god. Like, it sucks to be the second or third most talented kid in class. 
<laughs> my friend Kim, uh, Kim Salt, look her up. She's fucking incredible. She does incredible stuff. Um, she's still like, she's done spreads for like, you know, fucking People magazine or something. I don't know, like big deal things. But uh, she was always talented from like third grade on. It's like drawing real looking shit. And it's just like, wow, like I can draw, but like nothing like her. And it's just like, ah. I understand the, like the whole like ugh, I'll never measure up. I'll never be as good as them. Like it sucks. They seem happy. A new life. So full of life. So full of life. A boy. Get out of here. Maya. She reply. Where are you? I found your whole damn schism book. Am I going crazy? Why is it lip sync so bad in this game? Like, I understand it in the FMV scenes because maybe they were recorded in a different language and then dubbed over. That's okay, but it's just like, are they? Is all the lip sync weird? I don't know. This was like internally developed at Konami, right? Which is weird in and of itself. Who made this? This doesn't suck. What's going on here? <laughs> this is fine. Hexa Drive. The devs that did the third birthday? Mm, what? What? I hear that's a bad game. <laughs> I hear that's a bad game. <gasps> really? That's insane. What? A support... I oh, nah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. It's beautiful. Maya. Thirty-seven K more than me. Good for you, girl. <laughs> I lost followers again. Hundred and two. Sorry. Sorry. Some new followers here. <laughs> you need to upload stuff like this to get as many likes as Maya. Sexy. Loving it. <laughs> Stop with the boring photos already. No sexy stuff, no followers. Wow, you hate your followers? <laughs> Congrats on reaching your follower goal. Oh. Come on, we want sexy pics already. Stop! <laughs> Show hole. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Glasses. Hair under glasses is disturbing me a little. She's dead. Huh? Why She's did dead. She from the villa? Why did she have to die? Maya's dead? No, I kind of figured. Or you're dead and feeling guilty about it all and projecting it on her, which is, you know, you know, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> that's fine too. <laughs> Who 
What's this? Find it. Who? No, what's wrong? What's wrong, chat? Why? What? What's up? What? What are you? What are you guys talking about? Is there something? Is there something that's bothering you? What? What's wrong? What's? What's? <laughs> this is cosplay. Wow, that bothers me immediately. Fuck! Shit! God! Ugh! Ooh, that's as long as I could tolerate that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Gotta rearrange my whole situation. Look, I, I, I itched myself so hard that I, I got, I got like red here. <laughs> Horrific. Bothered the shit out of me. <laughs> anyway, we're back. We're fine. We're not um, wearing our hair and glasses. Very stupid. I'm not Maya. Okay. Okay. Find it. <laughs> Why do your fingertips have petroleum jelly on them? Nick Cage, what are you up to during this stream? You fucking pervert. No, just... What are you doing? I don't consent to whatever you're, you're up to. Oh my god. Uncouth. Uncouth. Think about that thug life. Um, nail care. Okay, if you say so. If you say so. Jelly Twins. I shouldn't judge. I play a slime in a Dungeons and Dragons podcast called Skull Tenders. Watch now. Um, <laughs> so. How do I feel about that? Um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm incredibly fucking lucky to have the following I do on the internet without having to resort to using my looks or my body in a way that I, partic I, I personally find to be um, unsavory and um, low-hanging fruit, easy to do if you happen to be hot. Um, it does sometimes feel like there's a, a divergence, a dichotomy between being talented and being hot. As a woman, unfortunately, this is not true. This is not a true dichotomy, but sometimes it feels like that and it makes you pit yourself against other women in a way that's not good, that is mentally, psychically damaging to a person, you know? Um, it's not healthy, it's not good. It's something that I wish I could uh, be better with in myself. I don't like it about myself. Like, oh, you do this because you're not talented. The only way you have followers is because blah, blah, blah. Wow, frame rate. Wow, bleh. Barf. Okay, you can look behind you. Good to know, good to know. We freaking out. Oh, whoops. I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? Is there something? Oh, something! Yeah! Something! 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 Oh, that thing's fun! I like that thing! Hey! That's a fun thing! Oh, what are these? Varsity jackets? That's fun! That's fun! Whoops! Hi! That looks great! I love that thing! Yo! That thing whips! 
Yeah! Yo, I like that thing a lot, actually. That thing is fucking cool! Yo! Yo! Intentionally low FPS for animation, thank you! Yes! Mmm, multi fucking bene, that worked. Maya died. <laughs> Thanks for clipping. <laughs> Even more followers. Posthumous followers. No one is ever going to notice me. Unless I do something crazy. How is this the one good Silent Hill game we're getting? This Out of nowhere! For free? Fire. This is fine! This is like one of the good comic books. Adapted to a video game. Some of them are okay. Maybe I can be like her. <laughs> Sorry, Clover. <laughs> they could have charged money for this, even five bucks. Shit. <laughs> oh, this is two years ago. Ooh, they're redoing, you know, shit. I get doing it here. And I've never seen it done before in a game. Credit? Credit? I'll give them fucking credit. I respect that. Responsible, actually. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Sure. This is a great place to put that, actually. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Good on you. Goodwill. Hopefully it doesn't get destroyed now. Oh no, we're in a loop like PT. But why didn't I die? Oh yeah, that's kinda cool. <laughs> the hole is bigger! Noticeably. That's cool. That's kinda cool. You find it? Find what? Can't leave till you find it. This really you, Maya? Can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead, you're not her. Can't leave till you find it. Who the fuck is this? You can't leave till you find it. Tell me. What the fuck? Guys, I'm kinda into this. I think this is okay. <laughs> I I think it's kind of okay. I kind of like this. I kind of like this. I hope it doesn't hurt me. I like this. I kind of like it. Like, yes, it's, it's very teen, but I think it's like authentically teen. I don't know. Like, I remember being like this and like how much it sucked and how much angst it was and... I find it kind of relatable. Um, I'm shocked. But yeah, maybe they'll fuck it up by the end. I don't want to think that way though, right? Like, I just want people to know that I don't go into these things wanting to hate them. You know, I feel like there's like a bit of like a, there's an undercurrent of, of folks that think I purposely go into stuff with the idea in my head that I'm going to hate this and I'm determined to hate it, right? I really, I don't feel like, I don't feel like I am. But yeah, like, totally, Edwin, you're right. Like, after being her for so long, it's just like you see a glimmer, it's just like, ooh, potential. 
oh, sure, yeah, like, this is pretty strong so far for a random thing that came out of nowhere that is purposefully and clearly purposefully buying buying into the teen angst angle of course it's going to be cringe because it's a fucking teenager you know teenager problems are stupid as fuck but they feel like the fucking world because it's the first problems you've ever had in your life before you were a teen you had no fucking problems basically so the first problems you encounter are just the worst things in your life my battery, no. But yeah, let's see how... And this is where a lot of games may fall apart if they have repetitive things in them. Um, time loop games can suffer from this. You know, everyone's like telling me to fucking brace myself and I feel bad for being optimistic. <sighs> Even the glimmers of hope have this shade over them, don't they? <laughs> I always forget hope. You'll never get me. I'll always regret hope. <laughs> Bad girl gets an empty plate. It's close to how I said it, honestly. Bad girl gets an empty plate! Hire me for voice acting. I don't give a shit, sure. Can't open the fridge no more to see my flowers. Bad girl gets an empty plate! <laughs> that is funny. All your fault. My battery. Mm -hmm. Graffiti can always be painted over. It's true. Literally anybody. Anybody who walks in the room could do this. Bad girl gets an empty plate! I'm sorry, I'm echolaling. Bad girl gets an empty plate. I'm glad this game is not, like, scary. It's just spooky. I like spooky a lot more than scary. <laughs> Better watch out, someone might throw a dart at me. Gonna, gonna peek around the corner in case somebody is actively still playing darts. Peek. Okay, no one's playing darts. I'm safe. I'm safe. I do like skeletons. Who's asking? <laughs> oh, that guy's fun. I like that guy. I like the Letterman jacket thing. I am surprised this isn't Jump Scare Central, and I respect that as well, honestly. I don't mean to be, like, overly glowing about this or like looking going out of my way to find nice things to say about it this is just my genuine opinion it's just like oh this could be way worse there could be jump scares ahoy on this thing children who turn trauma into tales solitude and anxiety in teenagers part two all of the teenagers surveyed suffered from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences and increasingly an and interestingly, all of them conceptualized those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her loving, real mother existed elsewhere. Coraline. I haven't seen the movie. Don't quote me on that. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. It's not how stigmata is but okay yeah somehow i haven't seen Coraline. somehow i haven't seen Coraline. crazy huh 
These convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. You know, that note reminds me of a note in, um, actually, I think it's actually in Silent Hill Origins, and it's a note I don't hate that is, a, it's, wait a minute, I think it's from Silent Hill 1, and it's repeated in Origins, but it's about psychic powers manifesting in pubescent girls and stuff like that. Oranges! I'm not slurring that much, am I? Ah, the other side of this. Cool. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stupid. I'm with stupid. <laughs> that, that is stupid. The cursed chain with an E? Okay. How could somebody do this? Wow, your work really speaks to me. You're full of yourself. What is this shit? More people with messed up views. Your art sucks. Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. Hi. Hi, Buzz. Hi, Buzz. <laughs> All right, here's the question. Are they going to pull a condemned and make it so that when I turn around, the guys are facing me? Damn it. <laughs> I always like that. I always hope for it. I haven't even personally played Condemned Criminal Origins 2. I think it's the one that does this mannequin scare where they are just constantly following you. This is also a thing that is um, repeated very successfully in the game Control. <laughs> Done very, very well. Yeah, they have thick backpacks. What you got in there, boys? These German backpacks? Efficient? The jocks are here. Oh, this jock is gone. Oh, guess I'm not leaving yet. I thought the boys would appear behind me. Uh, the boys are not back in town, so far as I'm concerned. Hi, bye. Looking at the tub, boy. I get it. Yeah, these motherfuckers should be warping around, changing position, rotating to look at me. That's just something I like. That's just something that's fun, that's spooky, that I think everyone likes in a spooky game. The boys are doing their best. Is this a jocks trap? That's a really good joke. <laughs> this is just like before. It's a really good joke. Why are you asking that? Please tell me. I still can't believe she's gone either. I wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. So Maya's really dead. Anita, are you okay? You getting enough sleep? Kinda, I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good, what about therapy? You're so good to me, but you're leaving me behind. I like that. I like that writing where it looped back. It had a diversion, but it looped back into the way it was, 
Like, I like that. That's that's good. I like that. She talked about a book she read recently. Still, I feel guilty for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? So what'd you think of the book? It was a cry for help that I gave you that book. <laughs> the author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. I like this. <laughs> I can't wait to read more. I like this. I like these FMV parts. That's cool. I like that. Oh, I like it like. I like that it shifted, you know, like the FMV started an area that looked normal and she walked into an area that was bizarre. That's cool, actually. That's a good shot. That's cool and good. What the fuck? So why is everyone talking to me right now? Stop, I'm streaming. Go away, go away. Oh, Bob's here. Hi. Moi to my friend. I like this so far. Is my heart about to get broken? Maybe yes. Uh, <laughs> I really, I really do actually kind of like this so far. I can't believe there's space in my heart to have hope. And they're going to dash it. They're going to dash it, aren't they? They're gonna fuck me up. They're gonna make it bad, aren't they? It's Konami. They're not gonna make it good. There's no way. I'm being a fool, aren't I? I'm going through all the stages of grief here. <laughs> like, live on camera. If you want food, do what I say. In Japanese culture, there has long been a sense of beauty in sacrifice, with harakiri, killing oneself by slicing one's stomach, being a prime example. The idea was that by taking your own life, you symbolically purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. This concept can be confusing to many Westerners, with young people incorrectly assuming the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view suicide in such a positive light anymore, and the life they value is not the biological variety, but rather a social one where death is needed to protect that life. What does that last sentence mean? Hang on a second. The life they value is not the biological variety. Also, there's an ad. But... <laughs> rather a social one where death is needed to protect that life reputation more important than life is that the thing they got for maybe me stupid maybe me stupid Okay, I'm gonna guess it's gonna yeah, have some voice acting, so I'm gonna guess what the voice acting sounds like. If you want food, do what I say! I was close! I was close! I was really close, everybody! Hire me. 
I could be a voice actor. I was so close. <laughs> I was very close. <laughs> Do what I say. Do you want lunch? <laughs> Ever watch Battlefield Earth? It's my favorite movie. <laughs> Do you want lunch? An unforgettable luncheon. Fan art. Fan art. Fan art. Ah! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Arloa, yeah, I'm scared. Thank you for getting my wings like, pew, that's so cute. Oh my God, that's so fucking cute. I love it. That's super funny. Um, I'm actually gonna use that as um, a tweet right now for being like, hey, watch my stream. I think I don't hate this, but I'm gonna get my heart broken soon. Hey. Watch my stream. I think I like this, but everyone is warning me that I won't soon. Ah, twitch.tv slash point burger. Oh, internet is so stupid. And blue sky. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you again, Arlo. I love it. No, you don't have to call her. Don't don't put yourself out for me. Um, <laughs> stop pregnant in the painting. Get a grip. <laughs> Get a grip. That is simply where the womb is. The source of all womanly power. <laughs> Fucking hate turfs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can't believe they're real. But he has random tatami mats. Devotion vibes. Belief in the witch of Kettenstadt, which is how I assume that's pronounced. Kettenstadt. I'm guessing. Those who believe in the witch of Kettenstadt share many practices with modern Wiccans, such as praying for a beautiful heart, a bountiful harvest, and goddess worship. What sets the practice apart is its slight blend of both Western and Eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there is one rather creative theory. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity, there was an exchange in cultural beliefs giving rise to the belief in witches. Sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Spider hyphen man. Hmm. <laughs> joint efforts, huh? Joint efforts. West Germany saw witchcraft trials after World War II. Huh. Huh. There's a damn link in the chat. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. It's just funny. That this game exists in the same coalescence, the same universe, Konami style, Silent Hill style as Bloober Team. In general, that's weird. But also the fact that, like, Bloober Team seems to be really stuck on World War II trauma style. And they don't even, like, understand the trauma they're doing all the way. I think I think Poland has some some hurt that they don't know how to process or something. This is not Bloober. This is all, all no no no. I'm saying that like this Silent Hill thing coexists in the general miasma 
with other Silent Hill things by developers that have like a ton of baggage with World War II. A ton of baggage. Poor babies. Yikes. Uh, hmm. It's not Bluebird because I'm enjoying it. It's not Bluebird because these people are enjoying it. Bluebird has no sense of humor or fun or timing or anything. They um, are miserable. Miserable developers, it seems. I feel bad for them. wonder what those guys are talking about. Ha <laughs> ha! Fortune telling? Ha! <laughs> A lot of people are getting into that. Huh. You don't believe in that stuff? No, girl. Well, I think there's something real about it. Girl, no. My great-grandmother was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. But they all eventually turned on my great grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures, but not your own. I wish this was just like in the language it was and then like had subtitles. <laughs> I'm like so distracted by the lip sync issues. <laughs> the dubbing is bizarre, isn't it? It, yeah, it's like a, a shame it's not... It, was it in German? I I would have liked it to be in German. Right? Like, that would have been nice, I think. It would have been nice. Huh. It would have been nice. I believe this was made in Japan, Konami. Uh, internal. Allegedly. Last I heard. Correct me uh, if I'm wrong about that. Do what I say if you want food. Already read that. <laughs> Developed in a pachinko parlor. Good for them. Don't open food inside. <laughs> Oh, I can go into trash room finally where I belong. Hell yeah. Mm mm mm. Sniffed at. <laughs> Juice puzzle. Oh, little twitchy bag. Hi, little twitchy bag. Hi. <laughs> I bet Bob. We have such a we're we're really like drift compatible humor wise. Like sometimes like <laughs> something I really love about our friendship, Bob, is that like we occasion we can have tiffs, we can have disagreements, we can have like incompatibilities, but I think like when it comes down to it, our senses of humor are very drift compatible. <laughs> And that makes you, like, a friend for life. For me, um, personally. I only speak for me. It's fine if you don't feel the same way. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> this is all your fault. Everything. You're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend. My place in this world. All of it. And you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> I love you! My fucking homie! Uh, my homie in the fucking chat. Mm. I've learned that, okay, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if this is true. Big fucking asterisk, okay? Okay? I've been learning a lot of things that I do and am, and my behaviors are oddly consistent with just like general autism shit, which I was recently diagnosed with, right? One of those things, and this is something that's always plagued me as a person, one of those things is just like this idea that like, friendships don't decay for me. Like, if I like you, 
I'm going to keep liking you until you do something bad to me. And then you downgrade. Like, that's the only... There isn't, like, a natural degradation process. It doesn't get stale. The friendship doesn't get stale. It's just, like, you have to hurt me or, or betray my trust in some way for me to, like, downgrade you to not being a friend. But, like, I've, like barely spoken to like Bob in quite a few months besides like little DMs here and there. I've barely talked to like Geop or Ty Tuesday or like occasionally I'll talk to Slow Beef and it's just like, no, these are just all my friends currently. I don't have to maintain this relationship like actively, 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 right? Everyone in the chat is freaking out right now, okay? <laughs> it's a thing! Hey, lucky bun! Bless up, thank you. Wait, that's like the bad symbol. I meant this. This is like flipping someone off. I'm sorry. This one. <laughs> oh no, everyone's saying that this game is so bad and everyone in my chat is autistic. It's fine. Everything's fine. All I'm saying is that you're not talented, you're not special, you call those shit stains art! You came out of nowhere and ruined everything! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak! Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> Thanks for the raid! <laughs> We're in the trash room! Why is there an elevator in the trash? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Why? Why is... Hmm. It's Silent Hill. Maybe things are goofy. Um, <laughs> It's not a dumb waiter. I do so enjoy making butter. <laughs> Social media is like a prison. Foucault said that. I think he did. I, th I think they did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's true. The bit said so, so it's true. You know, TBH though, I don't hate this game so far. I've been told um, I'm being a fool. Um, maybe it's gonna break my heart any second now, so I'm bracing myself in a big way. Deutschland Medical University School of Medicine. That is very redundant to have a medical school of medicine. Orientation. Dear incoming freshmen, welcome to Deutschland Medical University. Founded in 1709, DMU is one of Europe's oldest and most revered institutions. Its state-of-the-art research facilities eager, eagerly await your arrival. Orientation details. September 24th, 2021. School of Medicine Central Lecture Hall. Please wear a mask when attending. COVID-19 exists in this game and it makes me feel bad. I just, I just want all games to never acknowledge that this happened. This I, uh, Amelie wants to go to. The text on this is wrong. The text on the image? That's funny. Hey, got a minute to talk. Sure, what's up? You seem kind of out of it before. If something's bothering you, you can let me know. Uh, thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up. I don't want to pry. Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming here. Oh, right. You okay? Yeah, I'm just going to try to avoid him as much as possible. So, shopping. Yeah? We can find you something cute. No, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. Yo, your friend is... Like, okay. I'm not good at social cues for reasons. But, like, you should go out with your friend because she's trying to avoid something really bad. And you should not be selfishly like, no, I don't like crowds. <laughs> Even I'm like, ugh. <laughs> and nothing looks cute on me anyway. Ugh. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks. You just need to find the right outfit. <sighs> Girl. You're breaking my heart. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. Maya probably thought it too. Uh. 
Yikes. <laughs> wow! Haha, <laughs> scary! Haha. Hehe. <laughs> I'll zoom with my eyeballs. Uh, der Gershitschloch Family. That's them. Wah! 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 Well, it comes out blurry. The, the, the date of release is blur o'clock. Fucking, fucking Jeff the Killer. <laughs> December 23rd, 23rd. December 23rd, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back from Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt me studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he was probably just messing with me back there, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate the guy. Any guy looking at me, I can't believe other girls walk around school and town showing so much skin. <laughs> oh... It was a really bad Irish accent. You're right to ask what the fuck that was. It's because I said 20 turd, but it's Irish. The only, the only Irish accent I've been like fucking like subjected to is Chief O'Brien from Star Trek. So that's that, I guess. Um, anyway, uh, her brother sucks, I guess. Uh, stairs. Bad stuff, incest, I presume. I'm presuming the worst, obviously. February 20, 21st, 2021. Mm -hmm. I think I'm finally finding my study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently, though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked mom why, but she wouldn't say. May 11th, big gap. Keiko, <laughs> I just want a potato, Jesus. <laughs> this is it. Test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I work so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me, and I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for both you and Dad. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. Mm. I'm in a Silent Hill game. Nothing bad will happen to me. Yeah, they call it Soylent Hill. There, Sally's Empty Dream. What else we got here? Sapiens. Habits are everything, you know? They really are. Wait a second, physics? That's not how you spell fucking physics. Is that how you spell it in German? Physics? Why words happen? I don't think the guy who wrote this book really got down to the matter of why wars happen. I got a feeling they didn't narrow that down. British architecture. Okay. Hmm. You gotta have multiple copies of Sapiens. Can you even call yourself a true Sapien head if you don't have multiple copies of Sapiens? Everyone in the chat being like, that's Jeff the Killer, right? Uh, the Perioden system, Dur Elementi. I'm sorry, I'm American. Every other language is funny to me because I'm fucking racist. October 17th, 2020. I'm finally focused on my studies. So I think I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can just hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and Dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. All right, time to hit the books until morning. November 9th, which is a whole month later, basically. <laughs> Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better, but everything got canceled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happen, even if things had worked out. Not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's, it's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city, where college life is waiting for me. Everything's riding on my entrance exam next year. 
I have to get out before my brother comes back. This guy sucks. I can tell this guy sucks. Goddamn COVID. Where's the freaking like, oh, there it is. That's the, that's the button. It's this middle one that I forget is a button. I'm an old school gamer. This was never a button when I was a kid, so I forget it exists. <laughs> Centralia University. The so yeah, Amelie has a bad brother. Yeah, it's a handsome color, isn't it? Oh, I like this controller. It's better than my Xbox Scorn controller, which is not aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> This goofy ass thing. I got this for free. I shouldn't complain. That was like one of the only things, <laughs> one of the only things ever that I've gotten for free is this scorn controller. Ew, I love it. Ew. I, I really wanted scorn to be better than it was. That broke my heart. Not enough dicks, yeah, not enough. I didn't review Scorn, what are you talking about? <laughs> Larian. I was just hyped for Scorn, I didn't review Scorn. I wasn't, I was never a reviewer. There's no numbers. <laughs> I did like a quick look for the demo, and the demo was cool, but that's not a review for the whole game. That was just like, you know, hype for a demo. Why is there shoes up here? I wanted to believe. That is my only sin. My only sin. Oh, crab meats made a thing. I missed it. I gotta scroll back. Hell yes. Wow. Wow. I gotta make this bigger. Wow. <laughs> oh no, it went away because I minimized the window. What the hell? It's beautiful. I am with stupid. <laughs> Fucking putting Visque was here! <laughs> Fucking bless up crab meats. You're funny as fuck. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the best thing about Scorn was the demo. Honestly, like, yeah, real talk, the demo was the best part. That's it. Um, then it was bad. <laughs> Immediately after the demo ended, it was not very good. Um, the best part, ironically, was squishing the babies. I thought that was so fucking dumb. That was so edgy and stupid. I couldn't believe that it was happening. You have to fight a boss like two, three times, and there's like a baby inside of the boss, and you have to squish the baby. And it was the funniest thing fucking ever, because when we played it, all we did was uh, imitate the hydraulic press channel, those wonderful fins, being like, and now we are going to crash it. <laughs> Uh-oh. And now we are going to squish the baby. <laughs> uh, fucking so edgy. Hilarious. Sometimes things hit like a, a weird, oh, a second shoe. What does it mean? What does it mean? Um, sometimes things hit a, a saturation point of gore and edginess where it loops back around to being the funniest shit of your life. Stay home alone. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess how this if, if this is voiced, I'm gonna guess how it sounds. Stay home alone. Not too far off. Not too far off. I like these voice acting prompt refrigerators. Um, I hope they continue. <laughs> I 
not like these voice acting prompt refrigerators. <laughs> More games should have voice acting prompt refrigerators. I'm right. Stay home alone! I should have said it more like John Travolta in Battlefield Earth. It would have been closer. August 24th, 2021. I got some materials for my first choice in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I am so, so happy. I still can't believe it. Mom, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. September 22nd. Mom and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even with that rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work was for nothing? No way! Don't leave me, Mom! I can't stay here! I can't be stuck here with my brother! The next day, Mom just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear. But where would I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Amelie hated the way her brother looked at her. What? I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. <laughs> Thank you, Fizzy Jello. Thank you. Also thank, also thank you, GX Oot, G Groot. That is sweet of you to say, even though I don't believe it. Wow, it's the bag from PT. Look at this cameo. Um, don't I have like a? I could. I walked. The only thing I could do is walk. How about this? That's not it. How about this? Why isn't it? That's it. The gap in the wall. It's to another dimension or something. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm a dick in a bag. I think. I think I'm a dick in a bag. What does that mean? Can a dick even walk? Anyway. <laughs> Jimmy murder party. Yeah. Welcome to Wendy's. Young student found dead possible suicide. Oh no. September 25th, 2021. It's only a couple days after her mom left. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of Kenstadt apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. No note or diary was found, but police still believe her death may be a suicide. Everyone's dead. All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. It would be very uncouth if this was butter cake. But they didn't do it. Thank you for not putting butter cake there. She had great grades, but no scholarship. Sometimes your first choice even if you have good grades, doesn't give you a scholarship. America's bad. I don't know if Germany is as bad as America, though. I'm kind of confused about, I'm not like confused about it, but I'm like wondering, like, how does that compare to like the American college school system and college debt and stuff like that? Oh, of course, it's going to be a VOD. Yes, yes, yes. You can catch up on this on YouTube. Those watching on YouTube right now, hello, you're doing it on YouTube. Um, but yes, I put uh, all my streams are VODs. Uh, do not worry. You can peace out if you got to sleep or eat or go somewhere. Absolutely. And I encourage you to do so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if college in Germany is free, but 
I'm just not used to Europeans having such troubles. Okay, I went to the trash room. I remember that. This looks nice. Look at that. I think that's pretty. Ooh, look at this bright, fun room. Ooh, a hop, a hospital. Oh no, are we crazy? School. Oh no, it's a school. Okay, we're crazy in a different way. Nine's a dragon. I'm Auslan Studeren. <laughs> the witch's locker. Hey, come on, guys. I hope you can outlast this part. <laughs> what is there, a guy with a big dong gonna come for me? What do you mean, outlast? <laughs> Just checking. No, nope, it gonna be here. Hi. Everyone's so much taller than me. I don't relate to this. <laughs> I can't relate to that. Being this short, alien. Alien to me. Yeah, look at all these BTs. They're fun. Dom. <laughs> No, you're right, I am. Go away. Oh, it's kind of cute that they're referencing Silent Hill 1 with this without being like ex extremely derivative of it. Like, I don't know, I think that's cute. Freak, no wonder nobody likes you at school. Outside of school though. You are a stand-up person uh, that people like. Excuse me. Um, pardon me. I can Can I? No, I guess not. Hey, can any respecters tell me where I'm supposed to go? Hmm. Do I have a locker? God, the, the motion blur on this is so ridiculous. Sip. Oh, 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 it, I feel like I'm, maybe I'm nuts. I feel like there wasn't an examine point on that earlier. Maybe I'm nuts. What the hell? Get out, you freak! You freak! Slut. Your arm's fucking weird! You freak! Cock huh? piece of shit. I almost chipped a tooth. I almost chipped a fucking tooth. Your art's fucking weird. I was I was sipping, I was drinking, and then I went uh and then I I hit my desk with this and it like and god, I almost I almost chipped a fucking tooth. That was funny. Okay. Wall. <laughs> Your art's fucking weird! <laughs> this is a really funny insult. That's super, super funny. Oh no, I'm seeing. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You're stupid. You're. You're, you're stupid. Wait. You're stupid. I hate you. You have a, you have a poopy butt. butt. 
What if your butt's all poopy? I bet it is. I bet your butt's all poopy, you stupid slut. Idiot. I hate you. Your art is weird. Your art's so weird. Why don't, you, why don't you draw normal things? Like, I don't know, like life drawings. That would be normal. Uh, <laughs> your art is cringe. Why don't... <laughs> Teenagers are stupid and dumb. Like they're t they're not even good at this, honestly. Anyway, I do need to rehydrate, so I'm getting more water. It's all ice cubes. It's all ice cubes. So I'll be back in a minute. Bio break, water break. Here's the hydration break screen again, which has nothing on it. I'm sorry, and also YouTube will not see it probably because it has a copyrighted song in it. Bye. To YouTube. Hi, VOD, we're back. And I'm getting made fun of! Oh man! I'm sorry, does that say Hure? Where did that go? Hure? Coward, dumb, I saw Hure, like H U R E. What the fuck is Hure? Is that German for whore? Did I make that up? Anyway, just walk, I'm walking down this aisle doing like the the beauty queen wave. Crazy. Shut your whore mouth. Ugly. Get out, freak. Ooh, fun. This is when the, the, the forest temple like goes upside down and you have like different puzzles, but you have to look out for the, the wall masters. Oh, it's German for whore. Okay. The only German slur in this. Okay. Shut in dine mouth hur. I said that like it was Finnish. Hur. Berkle. She's normal AF. I mean, I like the visuals though. It's fine. It's fine. For having a teenage breakdown, sure. sure. <laughs> I'm finished, but it'd be spelled here. I'm rolling R's where perhaps they ought not be rolled. I'm just assuming that all R's are rolled and finished because it just it sounds good as shit. Please confirm, Finnish guy in our chat. <laughs> Bergle. It just sounds good as fuck. Ooh, oh, that's fun. Hey, okay, that's fun. I like that, that's fun. Oh, I didn't know I was being chased. <laughs> I was busy being visually interested in the environment. Oops. Why are you chasing me? Spider Half Man told the Bob Vibs Discord that the Ocarina of Time Twisted Hallway was better than the one in Majora's Mask. And I agree with you. The Twisted Hallway you're referring to in Majora's Mask, is that the one that goes into the clock tower at the very beginning? Because I feel like it's not that iconic. Or are you talking about Icona Canyon Temple that just has a general uppy downy backy forthy gravity thing going on? Because, yeah, I do agree that it's not the same because you're not walking through it, the clock tower. It's a cutscene. The cut it's different when it's a cutscene. It's, you know... It's not as interesting as when you're actually physically walking through something. So I agree. I agree the Ocarina of Time one is a little more interesting. Also, I'm still I'm proud of myself for pronouncing it correctly because I spent my whole life pronouncing it Ocarina of Time. Course correcting. Ocarina. Yeah, it's just a quick cutscene at the beginning. It doesn't have anything to do with the mechanics of anything. 
Ocarina just sounds nicer. I'm sad I can't admire the backgrounds. Yeah. Stupid. Oh, I like this. This is neat. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I do like this monster design a hell of a lot. I also like the respawn animation where it's like reverting backwards, like it didn't happen. Like I like I like this like this soft time loop thing, actually. Um. Oh, is the is the monster called Cherry Blossom? That would make sense. That's that's cool, actually. I do so enjoy making butter. <laughs> okay, I started in Link's Awakening saying "Oh, Kinera" when I was little. Then I fixed it with "Oh, Karina," and now I'm trying to get "Ah, Kinera." So I have to third guess myself every time. Ah, Kinera. Oh, what the heck's that? Oh, can't go that way. I'm fucked. Loser, stupid, idiot, hate you. Don't look at me. Stop it. Oh. Did I make it? Monster. Not again. Not again. That monster is cool as fuck. What did I do to deserve this? I I, uh, I hate that everyone's telling me my heart's gonna be broken because I actually quite like this so far. Find it. You gotta find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Idiot. Find it. The thing. No. Just find it. You'll know it when you see it. Just find it. Okay. You'll find it. Italian ocarina. Hmm. Also, I have a raider from Sebmol. I did not see that Sebmol raided. I'm sorry. Thank you, Sebmol. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to find? <laughs> you know what? I don't hate the voice acting in this either. I think they did a pretty fucking good job. Like, there's a couple cheesy lines in here, but that's not like. A huge detriment. Oh, I was Wawa. I'm sorry, Sebmo. I was doing Wawa. <laughs> Crab meats. <laughs> With another good uh, fucking fan art. <laughs> yep. Looking good, girl. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Crab meats. I love this. <laughs> Oh my god, short message and shattered memories has the same huh. Same acronym. Hmm. Okay, same stuff, same stuff, same stuff. Just making sure. Who the fuck? Familiar. Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? It's getting big Warren energy from, from Life is Strange. That's right. To heaven. Amelie. I like these FMB bits. They're kind of cool. I'm surprised, you know, I, I, I'm not mad at them doing this, even though I think it's them like kind of cribbing off Remedy a little. Come closer then. Look 
good on you. Big shoes. <laughs> I only ever cared about only drama. She didn't see me. I was invisible. I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. She's running out the door. Anyway, saying a karaoke stream. It's drama. It's not trauma. It's drama. <laughs> Karaoke streams, Bob. Those were so cool. I can't believe we'd never, we've never, we've only met like once in real life, and we'd never done karaoke. <gasps> Data fracked. Thank you. Thirteen month ooh, so spooky like this Vibio game. Vibio. <laughs> Thank you. You're crazy, creep. Second Arloa, thank you. I borrowed that book you wanted. The bell jar. I finished it, so it's all yours. I wrote my impressions in a letter. Read it when you get home, okay? I don't hate this! I still like it. Is something bad gonna happen? Like, I'm, I'm just like, I'm on the edge of my seat. When am I gonna be proven wrong? It's gonna happen. I'm gonna be a schmuck for saying all this, aren't I? Where was it? Look. All right, we got a fan art from Arloa. <laughs> Torstig, Wawa. Oh, you bet that's going on the damn Wawa page. Hang on a fucking second. Hang on a fucking second. We're going to the Wawa page, which might get cut out for YouTube. I'm sorry. There's a copyrighted song on it. Bye. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we go. There we go. The Wawa page is shaping up. It is shaping up. There we go. <laughs> Folks, we're going to Wawa. All right, I love this. <laughs> is this going to pull a homecoming and the last quarter of the game destroys any good feelings for it? I mean, that is generous to say of homecoming. I applaud you for having such a kind view of homecoming this is coming from me who generally kind of low-key likes home homecoming because it's stupid like it's very stupid in a way that i'm just like i can't be mad at this it's so dumb and a lot of silent hill games don't hit it either has to be actually good or it has to be so bad it's good and i feel like not a lot of them hit that point homecoming's one of them though Homecoming's fucking funny. I know all about Silent Hill. You don't know anything about Silent Hill. <gasps> Ascension also. I mean, Asc okay, like, here's the thing. I feel like Homecoming and Ascension are very different beasts. You're not wrong that they have a similar vibe of B-movie shit, but there's something a little more like malicious about Ascension that I can't 
get behind you you know you know what I mean you know you're you're Bobby you know what I mean you know what I mean um yeah you're not wrong in that um that read all the way <sighs> shattered memories <sighs> you might know how I feel about yeah, homecoming doesn't charge you for stickers, right? Yeah, absolutely. Downpour is is just um my feelings on downpour. I'm sorry, we're having like an aside here, so I may as well switch to the big talking to the chat screen here. Downpour is really interesting to me because it had such potential and it really squandered it because it was too scared to actually make a point. It was so close, is what makes me mad as hell about it, right? It's just like, it really was so close to having a point about like the American justice system and the nature of revenge and how like the American justice system is just a societally approved revenge system. It was like, ooh, this close, this close to doing something that had an emotional impact. I d ah. mm. Makes me mad. I'm mad at Downpour for, for whiffing it so bad. Um, and honestly, it should have been, um, it should have been through the perspective of Anne, the cop, and reckoning with the idea of revenge and justice and stuff like that. It kind of didn't make any sense that it was through Murphy's lens, in my opinion. Murphy Pendleton. The hell kind of name is Murphy Pendleton? I'll never get away from that. that that's a really bad name for a protagonist. Um, but yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, you know, Johnny, world beater. Downpour has some shit in it I don't like. Um, mainly, and I'll just I'll just fucking say it. There's a part in Downpour that is about uh, it's a side quest about a autistic child that was taught um, to make their way home from school or something. Uh, follow these ribbons, and every time you find a yellow ribbon, turn left or whatever, and the child's parent changed where the ribbons were so the child would walk off a pier into the water and die <laughs> what what That's not how anything works. That's not how autism works. That's not how any mental disability works. No, no mental disability overrides your 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 basic survival skills of like I'm gonna not drown in a like a, 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 a what? <laughs> it's one of the most ridiculously insulting things I've seen in a game, and that was before I was diagnosed as autistic. I was just like, that is bullshit. That is fucking ridiculous no autistic person on earth is going to be so rules based as to walk off a pier and die <laughs> from it it's fucking ludicrous absolutely fucking ludicrous and, and, and obviously insulting but like ludicrous super stupid um i walk off piers all the time what's your favorite fruit to eat in public but <laughs> LL Cool's ZJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is like, yeah. Karota, this is something that would be in a game from like the 90s. If that, because there was a huge misunderstanding about how autism was and stuff like that. Obviously, obviously. Whoa! Children with autism are 160 times more likely to drown? What age group? What are we talking about? Are we talking pools? Kids drown in pools all the time. I don't believe that. I don't believe that Google info right there. Because autistic people are so logical, 
I feel like they wouldn't drown because logic dictates drowning is bad. You know, like you can, you can, you can do whatever. Google's all AI shit at this point. It doesn't matter. Anyway, downpour is hilarious. Uh, homecoming is more hilarious without harming me personally in my soul. Um, but, <laughs> uh, yeeks, yikes, woof, game, game exists. Anyway, I hear high school's bad. I hear bullying's real. Can stop the town cursed by a witch. Malicious magic to blame for city slump. Kenstock continues to see a rapid decline in its population. The birth rate is at a mere 0.7, less than half of the German national average, 1.6. Miscarriages are also at 31%, more than double the average, 15%. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industrial city has failed to revitalize itself twice. A number of researchers are studying the occult. A number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch as the. Wait, what, what is this sentence? Hang on a second. A number of researchers studying the occult. Okay, a number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch as the cause of the economic downturn in Kenishta. Oh, I don't know why I was stumbling over that thing. Damn. The witch was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s. Okay, what? Um, uh, hmm? Huh? Hmm? What? Where is this being reported? Wait a second. Huh? A whack ass pamphlet is this? Witch economics. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed. Before her death, she is believed to have placed a curse on the town, stymieing its growth. Stymie is a word that is not often used. Stymie, get me a Danish. The invisible hand of the market. Hello, phone? Find it. Tell me, is this your curse? Find it. Find what in a place like this? Witch faith, ancient liquors. Ancient liquors of the world. Cheers. Sabbath. Centuries ago. At least I spelled physics right on that one. Anyway. This is a very strange school library, in my opinion. My school library didn't look like this. It didn't have couches. I don't know. It's weird. I feel like I didn't spend a lot of time in my school library despite it being my homeroom for a whole fucking year. How do I not remember this place? My brain is not good. Oh god, a laptop, the internet. I can get out of here. I'm gonna tweet. I'm stuck in a fucked up school. Ah! Help! Oh, these guys I know. Wow, it's been a long time since I've seen one of these guys. Hello. Classic. Your classic library stool. Modern eating habits. Okay, we got, what do we got here? We got it. I do not know what the first image is. Second one's a steak, for sure. Third one? I don't know what that is. Are those cookies? I don't know. Those look like fritters or something. Third one looks like some sort of fancy omelette-y thing. Pizza. Uh, a closer up version of pizza and um, a waffle. With a bunch of stuff. I like that the scary music ended the the, the second I said a waffle. 
Okay, it's back. It's scary again. Cherry blossom. Learn. I love learn. Trick or treat. Britain. Britain spelt wrong. Britain. <laughs> Britain. I'm sorry. I'm one of those fucking gamers that really likes textures in a game, so I'm like a little fucking freak for looking for things that are spelled wrong. God, there's so much blur on this game. It's absolutely crazy. Six ways to make your life better. Mysteries of the night. There's a horse book? I'm sorry. I missed a horse book. What are you, you telling me? I missed a horse book. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Oh, it's the water book written. The water book written. I'm, I'm not seeing a horse book. Maybe someone on the VOD will see a horse book and be like, wow, void. Void burger. Jess O'Brien, you, you fucked up. You should have seen that horse book. The Witch Hunt of Kettenstadt. In 1930s Germany, the town of Kettenstadt attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Behind that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East. Ah and would be greatly respected by the German people. However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout their industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories. The witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself. The witch has been di had been diagnosed with an unknown illness, and many believe the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claim that the that a witch hunt was to blame. They argued the witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party, who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for murder. There is no evidence to support this claim, and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory. But the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is the result of the witch's curse. Yeah, but what party was that? What party are you talking about? What party? Is, is there like a... Like a specific one? From that era? Oh, was it after World War II? I'm American! Don't judge me. I'm stupid. His party. <laughs> A witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? A witch's curse. This book is so shiny. It looked like an object that I needed. Look how shiny that is. This book covered in tinfoil. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a shiny fucking book. Yo, Bob, same brain, bitch. <laughs> I thought this was special. There, there's just a, a goofy ass um, novelty book that's covered in tin foil in this library. This library. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a shiny book. It's rare. I mean, I could just hang out in this library for a while. Nothing bad will happen to me. This is fine. If I like environmental art and detective games. Axel suggests this bed we made set in 1950s Montreal in a hotel. It's really good. Huh. Interesting. I have so many games to play. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I hate how many games I want to play. My fucking 
wish list. My fucking Steam wish list is like 70 deep. I, uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, because I care a lot about indie games and I want to play a ton of indie games and I don't have time. But I love them. I love indie horror games. 600, Jesus Christ, Holy Deviant. Do you ever buy games? Uh, <laughs> Only 70. That's huge for me. That's hu that's huge for me. It's like in the past before I got like 421. What? I'm losing my mind. I, d <laughs> I thought I was hardcore for a second. I'm sorry. 1049. I think you just like all games at that point. I think you just don't, like, have, like, a cutoff at that point for, like, things you want, you know? <laughs> I think it's just, like, what's the point of a wish list anymore? It's just, like, I see a game, I like it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> you have to have some sort of, like, standards cutoff point. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really into indie horror, but I don't have any time to play them, so I have a ton of things on my damn wish list. Open. I would have loved, personally, personally, if I hit this door and it was like, open. it won't open, and I turn around and the monster was like in the corner there, the far corner, and it was just like, Better run, better book it out the other door or something. If there is another door. Oh, there isn't another door. Okay. There's some sort of thing afoot in here. I don't see anything afoot in here. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Looks like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. I still wait for you. <gasps> oh, I found it on my own, sorry. <laughs> was in my dang locker. I don't expect there to be puzzles in this. I just have a feeling they're not gonna do it at this point. If there hasn't been one so far, they're not gonna do it now. Wow, well, it's like the corridor at the YMCA that leads to the pool. I can smell the chlorine from here. I love chlorine. It's like that other school. Why does this always happen? Chlorine smells like good times. <laughs> Pazuzu. <laughs> But oink, but oink. Hello? Hello, controller? Hello? You all right? You left me on red, so I was worried. Again, kudos. Credit where it's due. This is how people fucking type. You left me on red, so I was worried. Yeah, uh, uh, don't listen to Prasuzu. That's, uh, poison. Uh, <laughs> I hope that doesn't need to be said. Um, uh, I understood the joke. Uh, anyway, this is how people t type. Thank you. You're right. I was thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. I know. I was one of them that bullied her. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue and then it was too late. 
Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she'd talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. That's not true. Death Stranding. I'm not mad about it. Kojima didn't copyright the handprint or nothing. I would kill for a puzzle, though. I would love a puzzle. Yeah, Kojima invented hands. <laughs> <sighs> Chat, you funny. My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? Oh, is there a puzzle? Oh! <laughs> Liar! Okay. Liar. Okay, we got black, red, yellow, blue. Um, perhaps that is something to look around for. Also, I hope I don't need to say this. Chat, do not give me hints. I actually, I want to solve this. I don't want to be, I don't want outside knowledge. I just, I want to do it myself. Maya's locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before either. Look at this guy. Look at this little face. <laughs> He's fun. See, so I'm gonna look around a little bit. Oh, there's a two. There's a two. There's a two and it's blue. There's a two and it's fucking blue. It's a two, and it's blue. Easy code. Just gotta find stuff. Oh, there's a one. <laughs> okay, so two is the last digit. Uh, yeah, that's a one. And seems to be a zero over there. It's a black one. Yeah. And then there's a three. And honestly, if you're missing, this is an escape room tip for you. If you're missing a single digit of a four digit or even five digit or even six digit, any digit code, if you're missing a single one that is missing, you could put all those other codes in there, all the other, other correct numbers. And you could just <coughs> process of elimination. <laughs> I said that great. Process of elimination. You just figure out what the last digit is. It's a valid answer. Bob had to brute force it. Bob! That's not quite brute forcing. There's, there's different schools of thought. Okay. Also, my accent just came out really hard there. Thought. There's different schools of thought where it's like, okay, you've got a certain amount of numbers, you have one missing, and is it technically brute forcing to just dial that lock all the way around? Kind of, sort of, yes. But sometimes not so much. Sometimes it's kind of built into the system where it's just like they might expect you to do that to the last digit of something, right? Um, zero. Three, one, two. Let's see if we're right. I know what's inside, and I can't look away. We did it. It's fine. Here it is. The it's dick in a bag. Was it inside the book? You think it was zero because the number isn't there? I'm sorry. What is this, Bob? Bob, what is this? What are you talking about, dude? What is that supposed to be? <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> That's a zero! <laughs> Sweetie! <laughs> Honey! <laughs> I'm sorry! 
I'm sorry to call you out, my man. I'm sorry. I don't mean to call you out, but... That's a zero, my man. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. My dear friend, I love you. I'm sorry. That's a zero and it's black and that's part of the code. Honey, I, I really, one day I do want to do an escape room with you. Like, don't call Bob Dub. Do not do that. Fuck you. Do not call Bob Dub. He's fucking brilliant. You don't even know. He's so fucking smart. It does not take a... Here's the thing. Huge escape room lesson. No matter how smart you are, you can make escape room basic mistakes and there's no shame in that and it's because oftentimes people that are very clever overthink a puzzle right this is super super common there's nothing to be ashamed of about that like this is so 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 run of the mill it absolutely happens all the time my <laughs> My cleverest escape rooms that I've ever ran was like a bunch of fucking like 60 year old retirees. Regular as folk. They nailed it. One of the people in that group was a 60 year old retiree who was a retired detective. He sucked at this game. He was writing down all sorts of shit that did not matter. Ignoring things that were clearly leading him to solutions because he was overthinking it, right? Brilliant guy, obviously. Knows all sorts of stuff, tons of patterns. Could not play a damn escape room because escape room designers, if they're fair, are not, you know, doing that sort of mental game bullshit uh, where it's going to, I mean, obviously, American cops are not very smart, but I think, I think he was a private detective. I don't think he was a cop detective. I think he was, like, a PI or something like that, which, you know, adjacent, whatever. But this happens absolutely all the time. This is one of the, the beautiful intricacies of puzzle design, is just seeing how it psychologically bounces off people, what you learn from that. It's super interesting. <laughs> I love it. I love escape rooms. Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? <laughs> to be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment. Simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty, if only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world, gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different, hate them, try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together. Just me and you. Really good voice acting. 
really good voice acting. Wow. That's actually really good voice acting. <laughs> I just... I get it. I just... This love quadrangle and how awful it feels as a teenage girl. I don't know, they're really, I don't know, I think they're really channeling into how awful it feels to be a teenager. I just, <laughs> a quadrangle, a quadrangle of pizza, okay? <laughs> They're hitting all the teenage angst problems in a way that doesn't feel too cringe. It feels authentic to me. I don't know. Like, maybe that's just my experience. Maybe that's just, like, the experience of being, you know, I'm feeling pretty non-binary recently. But, like, I was raised a girl and it's just, like, this feels like that. I don't know. It sucks. This fucking sucks. Like, I get it. For fucking real. She was asking only for help. But Your cringe may vary. Hundred percent. Your cringe may vary. Ah! Maya, you have everything. You're way more talented than me. So why? Extremely funny why timing. to take her down a bit she she was taking amelie away from me she wouldn't pay attention to me <sighs> how was i supposed to know she'd actually kill herself hair under the glasses <laughs> the hair under the glasses is really bothering me Why so possessive? Because she's a teenager and she's in love. Yeah, I feel that way, Pazuzu. They're going to have to really fuck it up to burn through my goodwill. I feel like they're coming at this from like a fairly authentic angle where it's just like this is a teenage tragedy and like it's, I don't know, it's really easy as an adult to look back at and look down upon teenage tragedy and just be like, that's cringe. Of course it is, of course it is, but there there's a vulnerability to it that is, um, I don't know, disturbing. I don't know, it's just like it, it hits, it hits at a place of like extreme loneliness that I relate to, I was extremely lonely in this way, where it's just like, God, imagine if I had, if, imagine if I was her, imagine if I had a, you know, acquaintance friend who I wanted to get closer to because I admired her talent. She was so out of my depth with how talented she was. I couldn't measure up to her. And I had my own friend on the side who I loved too and my friend on the side and her got involved. That's a complicated, horribly negative emotion. It's super cringe, but it's like embrace it. Embrace your inner cringe, who fucking cares? It's real, right? I don't know, like, that's legitimate to me. I don't know. It's, I also feel like there's an innate, like, there is a, and this is not to say anything negative toward people who don't like this game or anything, like, there is a innate um, undercurrent of, uh, it continues to this day, of, of just, like, I don't want to say broad stroke, 
Sorry, how about the mic? I don't want to say broad stroke misogyny or anything like that. It's just like women's problems, women's struggles, teenage girls' struggles are very looked down upon, like as frivolous. And it's like, I don't know. I feel like they're really, I don't think they're, they're I think they're doing a good job, like, Getting across how hard that it, to me at least, I don't know, it's resonating with me. Ah! <laughs> oh, I really hope this doesn't break my heart by the end. I actually like this a lot. Um. <laughs> sucks. It sucks that everyone's like, no, you're going to hate it. You're going to hate it. I'm just dreading everything. I don't want to hate it. I super don't want to. I feel like, you know, I've also seen some people comparing this to Life is Strange. And it's just, I don't think it's... Life is Strange felt a lot more twee. It's just, there was an inauthenticness to Life is Strange where it was trying to be like, what's up fellow kids about it? Where this one doesn't feel like it's doing that? At least it's overtly. Oh, time to run. Oh, it's them. Being cutie patooties. I don't know which angle it's gonna come for me from. Is it not? <laughs> Oops. Oh no! <laughs> the sticky notes changed. I like the aesthetic of these chase scenes. Yeah, these are cool. This these sequences are fucking cool. Actually, actually. Oh shit! Whoops! Oops! 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 Sorry, girl. Oops. Oh no! Am I going back to like? Oh, am I fucked going this way? Oh! 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 Okay. Wow! I like her. She's so cool. Ah! <laughs> Extremely fun. I really like this this bad guy a lot. Uh, come on. Ah! Oh man, come on. Hard to shake this hoe. <laughs> Let's go left. This way, the light is leading me. Oh, you're kidding. Ah! <laughs> oh no. God damn it, son of a bitch. I like that enemy. I like that enemy. Uh, she's cool as fuck. Ah, oh, the lights. You got me, you got me. Are you here to punish me? I'm not mad that she said that out loud. I feel like normally I'd be mad if some Silent Hill protagonist shouted, Are you here to punish me? I'm not mad about that because she's fucking 15. She would scream that. Yeah, yeah, bet. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Life is here to punish you. Everything feels like it's punishing you. You're a teenager. Of course. Of course. 
Oh, I did it again. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> And whoops! Okay, if she's in here, I think that means I can leave through here. Do these doors actually connect to places that make sense? Yeah, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, I just have to be aware of like where she is in relation to me. Which seems obvious, but I'm not used to games like this that have uh, chase sequences actually making you pay attention to it. It's usually a set piece and it's not some sort of puzzle. Oopsies. Ah, uh, oops, oops, oops. Dead end, dead end, dead end. They dead ended me. What's the solution? Yeah, let's go through a side door early. Okay, looping back to the front. Oh, sounds like her going through a door. Whoops! That was her going through a door. Let me through! Out of my way! Okay, maybe I can... I've looped her around, perhaps? Yeah, the behind-the-door part does seem scripted to me. But it's up to me to loop her around and not deal with her. Okay, after these lockers, I think she'll spawn behind this door that's coming up. This door. Yep. She always shows up there, unfortunately. Don't go that way. Loop her around. Okay, we're making progress now. Juked! I was probably making all sorts of silly faces during that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fizzy. Maya, I finally get it. I know what you wanted me to find. Anita, what's up? I'm so sorry, Amelie. Maya died because I killed her. What are you talking about? You and Maya wrote letters to each other, right? Yeah, but then Maya jumped off the villa roof. Well, there was supposed to be one. In the last book you had, too. What? That letter. That letter was a message for you. Well, why are you telling me this, Anita? I was jealous of Maya. I was afraid she'd take you away from me. My mom was right. I should never have been born.
Restart. You didn't find it. You didn't find it, did you? Respect! Actually? Yes! Good! Good! Yes! Good! Thank you! Yeah! Sure! For sure! For sure! For sure! Yeah! Okay! Good! Yeah! Sure! Yeah! Good! Sensible! Sensible! I bet the hole is huge now. Oh, it's other world time! Yo! This room is more like grainy now? Is that what happening? <gasps> if so, that fucking whips. If so, that fucking whips. Oh, yourself. Hey. Even if I die, this doesn't end. How many times do I have to go through this? Get in! Yes! <laughs> Yo, this is a good Silent Hill game right now. <laughs> I, I really, I hope they don't fucking whiff it. I hope they don't whiff it. They're doing so good right now. They're doing so good right now. Please don't whiff. Oh my God. Everyone's saying they're going to whiff it. I'm so concerned. What if it's good? I like this a lot. Uh, what if it's good? How can I get you to forgive me? Please, Maya, tell me. Why won't you say anything? <laughs> Yo. It fucking... It whips that... The beginning of this game had this little scrawl on the wall, yay big, that looked like a hole. Where you're just like, oh, hmm, little Silent Hill 4 reference. You're not going to get me with that. I don't even like Silent Hill 4. That one's bad. And then it gets bigger each time you, like, do a loop. I'm a bit, okay. Context. I'm a big sucker for time loop games, though. And I never, it never even occurred to me that, like, Silent Hill could do a time loop situation where, I mean, PT does have a loop to it, yes, but this feels more like a time loop where there's like slight iterations where you're learning slightly more information in a more like a diegetic way than like a mechanical way that PT does. I don't know. Like there, there's something that if you're going to, if you're going to do a PT clone, I think the thing that's more interesting to copy is the loop part of it than the aesthetic of it. There being a big, tall, twitchy woman with an eyeball missing that is haunting you to scare the shit out of you. That's not actually the interesting part of PT for me. And I think a lot of the terror of Silent Hill is a known TV guy getting it right is Silent Hill saying, we're not done with you yet. We're not done with you yet. You haven't learned something. There's something iterative. There's something punishing. There's something um, uh, incarceration style, prison style about Silent Hill. And that's the spirit of it, is that it is a repetitive, iterative, it's trying to get you to realize what you did wrong. That's something that I think is the core of Silent Hill 2. 
that is evident in how many times Pyramid Head shows up and kills Mary slash Maria. He is trying to, in a repetitive motion, get you to realize what James has done. Get James to realize what he has done. And it also is reflected in uh, James being able to find the great knife and all that stuff. It's like, you're him, you're Pyramid Head, you killed your wife. This is symbolic, but it's very literal. And we're gonna do it over and over and over until you fucking get it. Until it fucking sinks in. You're here to punish me for my sins. Here are my sins. I understand now what those are. And I think I think I don't know. I don't I don't mean to like praise this game too much before it's over, but they're fucking nailing it. I'm shook. I I like this a lot. I like this a lot so far. I'm 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 genuinely going to have my heart broken if they whiff it at this point because it's it's been so successful for me. It's it's I don't know, it's it's hitting. Yes, there's some goofy shit in it like oh, loser, ugly, stupid, insane, loser, dumb, blah, blah, blah slut. But like put yourself in the mind of a teenager and how much that hurts you to hear. And that's not, that's suddenly not stupid if you actually empathetically put yourself in this position. This sucks, I feel bad for this girl. Like, this is horror, this is empathy. I, I, I don't know, it's like, it's hitting for me. February 4th, I ended up heading to the roof of the villa couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls killed themselves here. All teens, supposedly. Now the place is a famous spot for people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me feel a little bit queasy. Were they not scared? What was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or to something? This poor bitch been panting this whole time I've been talking. I'm sorry, honey. Honey, I'm sorry. Been letting you pant in this room, being scared as heck. Yo, and like making, yo, know, tying this into the graffiti aesthetic. That's good! Oh, I'm gonna be so sad if they fucking whip this. Ugh. Because I really like what they're doing with like the teenage mentality and graffiti and like trying to alter your world that you live in and feeling powerless so you deface things as a teen. You scribble on your desk, you write shit on it and carve things into the fucking wood of your Desk and ah, uh, graffiti. They're doing it good. Like they're they're tying in the angst, the teenage angst into graffiti in a way that I personally don't find cringe and I find like super relatable and reasonable. Uh, and like tying it into the Silent Hill Four reference in a way that feels like you don't have to know Silent Hill Four to think this is cool looking right like it feels natural yeah if it feels like it's supposed to be this way even if Silent Hill 4 didn't do it first it would have made sense to do it here too right like yes it is a reference but it's a good reference that buoys the rest of the stuff that's going on this is fine man this is fucking fine. I'm shook. They gotta, they, famous last words. They gotta fuck up bad right now to undo my goodwill. I am full of goodwill right now. Look at my ass, full of it. <laughs> Oops, famous last words, perhaps. Ah. 
Let's see. No future. It's your fault. It's all your fault. All right, here's my guess on the voice acting for this one. Ready? Okay, here's my guess. Don't you Don't dare go outside! Close? I feel like that was an 8 out of 10. That wasn't a 10 out of 10. It was close, but I don't know. Yeah. 7, 8. Reasonable. Oh, we have a fan art. Your art is weird. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's super funny. Oh my god. Thank you, Valian. <laughs> That's really good. I super love that. Holy shit. <laughs> My favorite fan art, like for real, it has nothing to do with, uh, I, this is not a neg at all. By the way, please don't take this as a neg because this is good and I completely understand what I'm seeing here. Excellent representation of things visually, but humor is the thing that matters most to me in fan art. It like does not matter how technically proficient somebody is with fan art. It's just like, hey, do I know what I'm seeing? And is it funny? Fuck yeah, you succeeded. You don't have to draw things realistically, have shading, have coloring. I don't care about that. Like, is it funny? You nailed it, is the thing. I love it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. No hope. No future. No exit. Oh, come on, you can squeeze through there. Suck it in. Shimmy. Oh, poor baby. She panting so much. I feel bad. The Silent Hill phenomenon! <laughs> the suicide rate has increased around the world in large part due to the struggles bought on, bought, brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic with countries still unsure how to best handle the issue. These trying times have also given rise to a strange phenomenon in many areas. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog, even on fair weather days, and lose consciousness shortly thereafter. Silent Hill is COVID related. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this has come to be known as the Silent Hill phenomenon, named after a similar event that occurred in the an epidemic eponymous is that how you say that u.s town the first to propose a theory explaining why this could be happening is dr <coughs> a social psychologist at <coughs> university who had the following to say on the matter to one who is psychologically unstable fog represents uncertainty and sensory illusions when in a state of high stress one's vision may become obscured or tunneled as if one is wandering through a dense fog or mist. Societal uncertainty or apprehension about the future manifests as fog, thus blurring the lines between illusion and reality. As time goes on, we are seeing more and more cases of the Silent Hill phenomenon. <laughs> in response, Dr. I don't think it's Kaufman, calls for a rapid rebuilding of society as well as a stronger emphasis on counseling and mental health care for the... Wait, Dr. is calling for a rapid rebuilding of society? Good luck with that, idiot freak. Okay. 
That's weird. Just rebuild society. I'm calling for a rapid, rapid rebuild of society. I mean, I'm assuming this is just an article on uh, akin to like the Daily Mail, like some sort of opinion piece. New York Times opinion section, where it's just like, here's some fucking dumb jackass saying some random shit. It's mildly related to what's going on. Not necessarily true, but something to think about. I guess I should stop investigating these corridors. Oh, my phone is doing something. My phone's rumbling. This is... Wait, me and my mom lived here. This is our living room. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> December 29th. 2011, long time ago. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Next to the depression meds. <laughs> Goofy, Goofy AF. By the way, that pill bottle is huge. Compared to this glass of water, wow. Compared to those pills, that pill bottle is 50% too damn big. Huge. That is a huge <laughs> fucking thing. Also, oh no, wine. Mom's an alcoholic. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, real beer. We're talking... We're talking real beer. We're talking real beer. <laughs> None of that fake shit for liberals, yeah. Old timey measurer. Almost Campbell's tomato uh, soup here. Close, close, almost, almost. Thanks for subbing, Mr. Zeno. Appreciate you. Blurry mom. Look at that blurry mom. I love this game. It gets really stupid at the very. <laughs> at the very. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Thank you again. Again, another little, hopefully not annoying reminder that, um, hey, it's the start of the month and um, Amazon Prime refreshes at that point and you can just like give me a free to you Amazon Prime subscription to Twitch because Amazon owns Twitch and it just gives people those to use wherever. Mm. But yeah, crazy. Think I just loot, baby. Wait. Why won't you listen to a damn thing I say? My echo is better sounding than that echo. Very fast pizza. Italian. Very hot. Buono. Alcohol. This is like layers of fear. Beer death. There was literally, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I don't think I'm mistaken. There is li <laughs> sorry, Nick Cage made me laugh about Ace on my sleeve, um, which is, by the way, a an alert you can trigger if you do some sort of certain amount of donation. You can play an Ace on my sleeve. That's all I need. Um, shit. But yeah, this reminds me of Layers of Fear, where, if I'm not mistaken, there is absolutely uh, some children's blocks, like ABC blocks, that spell out beer death. 
That's how subtle Bluebird team is. You know. But yeah, this is a bit PT with the pills on the desk. We got a little rotating, r repeating thing. I think I'm shorter. Am I shorter? That would be actually quite interesting if they did the repeating hallway thing, but it's like regressing back in time. And so you are shorter as you go down to your past. That would be neat. I'm not saying that's what's happening yet. I don't know. I don't know. February 10th, 2012. My new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. February 22nd. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bitch that raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. I'm different. I'm getting short. I, I'm getting shorter. I'm getting shorter. That's cool. That's cool. That's legitimately fucking cool to do that. Hmm. That's storytelling. She's not allowed to sleep in bed with her mom, so she's got a little... little place on the floor to sleep on. March 7th, 2012. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza, though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. March 22nd. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they're... See the light for a while. They finally see the light in him. About a month later, he told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, he may never see him again. I may never see him again. Oops. I'm sorry, your, your kids you're abusing in the closet, they're distracting me. They're distracting me. It's, ac it's so actually cool that they made me shorter during this. That's actually really cool. That's fucking actually good. I don't know if any... I'm trying to think. I don't know if any game I've played has done that. I'm trying to think. That's good. That's that's like a really cool thing to do. Actually. <laughs> Golden I did. <laughs> well, um I only played the multiplayer of Golden Eye, so forgive me. Um <laughs> I'm so small. I'm so tiny and small. Oh, Spider Hive Man, thank you! Uh, I guess I'm going in the closet. <laughs> thank you so much! Oh no, I can't go in the closet. Uh oh. <laughs> Getting a fucking pizza. Now I gotta go get a fucking pizza! Oh, floor. Thank you. Let me through. 
I'm just a little thing. You know what? If you're going to rip off PT, this ain't a bad way to do it. Okay? This, fe this feels like a all right, not bad. The, yeah, this feels like an a iteration on the basic premise of PT. I mean, here's the thing. PT did not invent the idea of repetition in something. It's something that's in other media. And it's just something that games have not explored very much because gamers don't like repetition. They're opposed to it, right? So now it's like it's been breached. And now it's like, oh, you're copying PT. Which, like, of course, a lot of people are because they don't have, like, a reason to be doing it, right? But this feels like there's a reason to be doing it, so it's justified to take that premise and uh, run with that. So I'm not mad. And yeah, these, these bags be jiggling. I like it. And like the, like a, a sequence of repetition where something degrades over time is not... Kojima did not invent that. It's a filmic technique that has been used for ages, but because he's so film-minded, of course he's going to put it in his games because he wants to direct a film. <laughs> Obviously, for ages. Um... That's it, this. It, this makes sense to do. I don't know. Of course, right? I don't know. I feel like it's of course. It's a montage. Yeah, it's a montage. Video game montage. May 9th, twenty twelve. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he bought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I've left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. May 25th. I got contacted by the Child Welfare Center. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night at my place. What the fuck do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out there enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the fucking bad guy? Two months later. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. Stop. I do side-eye the usage of the fridge being just an extra PT thing that they don't need to add on to it, right? It's a little too... Here's the thing. This is something that's brought up in Mystery Science Theater. Don't remind the audience of a movie that's better than your movie, right? There's premises that you can take and iterate on. But if you're just like, hey, remember that? People are just like, yeah, I wish I was watching that instead of this. Um, and I think like adding the fridge being related to like child abuse, baby stuff, that sort of thing. And just like twitching, vibrating, you know, kicking itself around is a bit too PT for me. I feel like I didn't need to do, it, it didn't need to go there. I feel like I could have walked through this door not looked at the fridge and been fine with that. I feel like if I were to uh, editor's mind here, I would have just cut this particular thing. Doesn't matter.
Miss Krista Planert. Which I assume her last name is Planert, our, our, our buddy here we're playing. Almost out of water. This is so small. This friggin' water bottle so small. We've reached out to you repeatedly, but have yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of remedying this issue. You are in violation of German Civil Code Article 1631, Section 2. Accordingly, the federal court has instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Frank Fisher, Kennestadt Child Welfare Center. The closet. <gasps> Was it the closet the whole time that we've been respawning in a, a, a different version of the closet? Because it has this fucking crayon scribble hole on it. That's good. Actually, actually, it's kind of good. <laughs> Boy found dead in refrigerator. Mother arrested August 4th, 2012. Yikes. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41-year-old mother, Person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. And when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, Person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call police and report her mother for neglect. When authorities, when detectives, arrived at the house, they discovered her body's brother, her body's brother, her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to her crime, hence the refrigerator. No one speaks like that, but okay. Good music, though. Super under her glasses. I am your daughter. And just like you, I'm cursed. Hmm. Hmm. This is adjacent. To, as you said in the chat, misery tourism, but I feel like it doesn't have the, there is a certain amount of exploitation that I feel like it's not, it doesn't feel like it's on the outside of it. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's not like it's, it's not subtle or anything like that, but I feel like it's not, it's not pissing me off. 
don't know. I, th I think because I have related to this character so far on this journey, this doesn't feel out of left field or undeserved, unearned, or particularly exploitative to me. Um, I have heard this game's only two hours long. That being said, uh, somehow the stream is four hours long. Uh, <laughs> I have been talking a bunch and, and analyzing and, you know, looking at the environments and going on water breaks and stuff like that. So uh, we're probably, I would presume, near the end. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not hating this and i'm confused by that <laughs> from what i expect from this franchise basically for some reason this is not pissing me off this is just a good silent hill fanfic which i mean at the end of the day maybe it's fine maybe it's a fine silent nothing's I don't know. Sure. This, it was led up to, there was premises set up. There's a setup and a payoff and it was implied that bad things had happened. And yeah, it was a little on the nose and a little like uh, up front. Uh, but it's like, it's, it's cringy and juvenile, but the character is cringy and juvenile. I've seen worse. Yeah, it's just like the character is fucking 15, 16 years old or whatever, 19, 18, I don't know. Anyone before 20 is cringe. You heard me say it first. Um, but <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not hating it. And uh, also I need to get more water. So here comes another uh, water break that I might cut out for YouTube. All right, we're back. Got my Wawa and all that. Let's let's finish this dang thing. Even when I seen this room here in the villa, I tried so hard to forget this place. I d I I genuinely do like that this reoccurs here. That's actually not gonna lie. That's good shit. That's kind of good shit. I kind of like that. That's good. Okay. Credit. Credit where it's due. I mean, I, I don't want to... Here's the thing. I am positive about this. I like this so far. Um, seems like we're at the end, too. So, uh, I don't know where my standards are, if they're supposed to be worse. If they're supposed to be uh, crazy, unre uh, unachievable standards or something like that. I don't know. This just makes sense to me so far. I understand critiques of like, hey, this is exploitative because it even delves into these you know, tricky topics. But you, I don't know. I feel like it's hard to be mad at a game that really multiple times goes out of its way to explicitly warn you about the subject matter. Let's see if it really whiffs it in the last friggin' 15 minutes of this thing. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh -huh. Again, because this is from a teenager's perspective, my standards are lower for symbolism. But like, I don't know, maybe that's my fault for buying into the kayfabe? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm just like, yeah, of course. If I were a teen in Silent Hill, the symbolism would be more goofy and apparent. I don't know. <laughs> I'm buying into that for some reason. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Woo, the frame rate, yikes. Oh, we're in Heck Town. We're in Heck Town now, baby. I really like what you drew me way back. Ooh, I can't see. Oh, I can't see shit. Okay. Art 
Okay. Okay, this thing is actively chasing me and I have to find these little little different things. The environments look great. Not gonna lie. Oh what's that? Oh, you like what you see? Okay, okay. My phone's doing stuff. Whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah, my phone is looking strange. Okay, it's going the wrong way. Good, good, good. Okay. This is like a search thing. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, shit. Okay. Seems like my phone reacts to things. Oops. Dead end. Ah! 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 Yikes, 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 yikes. Oh, 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 I'm dead. I'm dead! I'm dead! Oh my god! Oh, somehow I'm not dead! Yo! Speedrun strat. Holy shit. Uh, woof. Woof and yikes. Oh man, I, shit, I wanted to go that way. Uh, f oh god, Jesus, okay. After I juked her so good! After I juked her so good. Yeah, it seems like my phone is indicating something. I really do think the voice acting is quite good in this. Like, they really put in they whole ass into it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if a single hit uh, I could take. Oh, do I have to do the whole process over? The ones that I found already, for example? Let's find out with this one. Oh, I have to do it all over. That sucks. That sucks. Don't do this to a player. Okay, I'm did gonna do this maze style if possible. I'm gonna hug a wall. You're into art, right? You could audit an art class. If you're ever in a maze. Good tactic is just hug a certain wall. Because eventually you will get out. Oops, 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 oops. What's that? Oh, 
you like what you see. Oh. Okay. Again, the environments are quite nice. This looks really good. I'm just sad the motion blur is so um, aggressive. I think I feel like it doesn't need to be that aggressive. What are you hiding inside? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Even more left. Still hanging left where we can. Oh, this is different. This is different. Okay, the jocks are here. All right. Still hanging left. Still hanging left where I can. Still hanging left. Making a loop, making a loop though. Not ideal. Oh, no, can't do. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh my fucking god! No! I can't believe there's dead ends in this. That's rude as fuck. <laughs> this is the room I started in, isn't it? Yep. That is the room I started in. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay. Whoops! That seems like I went right toward that person. Okay. Right toward CB. Okay. Uh, can I go through this? Good. Maybe not. Uh, maybe that looped me. Okay. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Ah! Shit. Yikes. Where's this? Where's this go? Ah! Yike! Woof, 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 woof. Okay. Woof, 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 woof. I would not mind a break. Tell you what. Uh, hoo hoo, I'm making arbitrary decisions. Uh, hee hee. God damn, I'm gonna back here. Okay. Uh, whoa, I don't remember him. Okay, uh, ah, uh, oh, oh, yike, okay, ha, uh -huh. bye. <laughs> I have a terrible sense of direction. Have people keyed in on this yet? No, I'll go this way. I'll trick you, I'll go this way instead. Oh, I hear- I hear the motherfucker behind me. Ah, okay, I'll go straight at this- this point. Yeah, I'm wondering if the number of rooms are consistent. I think I've been in there. Whoops! Okay, yeah, ha ha ha, wah ha ha, ooh oh, oh oh, oh oh. Oh, 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 she coming. Oh, oh. You're way too hard on yourself. Let me through. Oh, fuck. I'm super fucked. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, ha ha. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, a door? My phone? My phone? A door? My phone? Is it not chasing me no more? I don't think it's chasing me anymore. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Jump scare. A whoop. Okay. <sighs> I 
I think we might be, we might be safe. Ah! I need a break, I need a break, I need a break! I need a break, the phone was showing me something different that wasn't like a person's face. That, that sequence obviously has problems. Um, I think, here's the thing. I'll let you in on a secret. Chip, my spouse, Josh, gave me a warning that was like, there's a part in this game that everyone loses their mind at and it's because they're not paying attention to uh, their phone. Their phone is doing something during this part. That is the only thing he told me, for what it's worth. I'm glad he told me, though, of course, because I feel like a more fair, more reasonable game would have had, before this point, something that indicates that you ought to pay attention to your phone in that kind of way. And it is rude to spring it on a player in a stressful sequence like that. That is stressful. I do acknowledge that that particular part, not ideal, bad game design. Not what you want to do to a person, honestly. But I would say that compared to a lot of things I've had to put up with in a lot of other games, even like real deal, like triple A ish, double A ish games. It's not that bad. But they, they, I do think that it would be not just bad, but fair if they uh, seeded that earlier. You know? The, that's, that's my critique of that section. Uh, otherwise, I would say that that section was, um, I don't know, pretty good considering that, you know, we don't want to have, we don't want to have a mini map showing us where we've been and where we haven't been. We're survival horror people. We don't want a mini map, obviously. Obviously, don't do that to us. Um, but yeah, what, what Sparchetti said there, um, actionable. Ah, <sighs> that was, that was tense. I'm still calming down a little bit. Um, that was tense. That was, uh, good. That was scary. I was, um, it's also, I think, I think it's a little bold, a little rare to actually have a chase sequence where you have to consider your path. I feel like there is a lot of games that have a chase sequence where you don't have to actually consider juking the guy that's chasing you, tricking the guy that's chasing you. Oh, I'm gonna go this way and lead them in a circle so I can go this way more cleanly. Like, that's actually a video game. That's gaming. You made me do a tactic. I feel like there are a lot of fucking games that don't do that. And yes, it's honestly a little weird to see it here but that doesn't make it wrong to do. It's just that we're not used to it. So it's kind of a little out of left field, honestly. Um, effort was made. There's, there's some stumbling blocks, but I feel like bizarrely, I'm, I'm, I'm the most surprised at this from any, anybody. I don't expect Konami to make good shit. I don't expect Silent Hill to be good anymore. Somehow this was a fucking okay chase sequence that I thought was, it would have been more fair if it was established that the phone can, can sense things, obviously. That would make it a lot better. But uh, I'm not mad at this at all. Shit, okay. Wow. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> This is fine. This is pretty. I like the protagonist. I feel bad for the protagonist. I'm empathetically vibing with this scenario. 
in a way that it's like, no, this is scary. I feel bad for you. This is scary as hell for you. And this is gorgeous. Look at this fucking, this game is pretty. This is pretty. This is just as pretty as Bloober Team's games. And I feel like they really like overly rely on their graphics to get by. Cause they have incredibly like, credit due to Bloober Team, they have incredibly talented visual artists on their team. They fucking get it. Their aesthetic is impeccable. They get it. And like, this looks, this looks great. I'm really, I'm not mad at this. And I'm still, I'm still dreading because people have been hyping me up to hate this. I'm still dreading like, oh, they're gonna really whiff it at the fucking last minute. They're gonna have some, some, some fucked up bullshit at the end. They're gonna say something transphobic or something. I don't know, I don't know. Something crazy gonna happen. <laughs> It's like the Silent Hill 4 door. I actually think that's kind of cute. <laughs> I think it's actually kind of subtle. Because you're running and it's like, you might just run through this and not even look at it. That you might not even look at it. And here's the thing. I have a feeling if I walk through this door, it's not gonna literally be the apartment from Silent Hill 4. They're not gonna like remake the apartment. They're gonna be reasonable. Am I gonna be alone forever? Good voice acting. I'm shook by how good the voice acting is in this. They're doing a hell of a good job with the voice acting. I fucking, I feel it. They're taking shit that is like very angsty, very, like by nature, cringy, and I feel like they're they're putting a lot of emotion into it that I believe. Keep out your on to da da ba ba da. <laughs> and then ending up back here makes sense thematically. Back to your obsession with your friend and how you can't measure up to her, which is like the inception of the whole game. The original gambit of it all emotionally, sketchbook, and like humanizing her and what she was going through and stuff like that. I don't know. That makes sense. Now, Anita's mom did not live in this building. The whole apartment you saw that Anita grew up in was not supposed to be here. Anyway, what the heck am I supposed to interact with, fam? Oh. I mean, it's looking at the schism book, but... Whoops. There. Oh, 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 newspaper. March 13th, 2022. At approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, popular graffiti artist CB Maya Ako Hindenburg. Did they really name her Hindenburg? The famous disaster blimp. That's a bit of a name. Anyway, I would have named her a little something different. It is German. It is it is German. But 
I'm side-eyeing the choice. Just a little bit. Oh, the humanity. Just a little bit. It is a real name, but I'm just a little bit like, mm, I think everybody on uh, most of the Earth knows that name because of the bad blimp that happened. <laughs> But anyway, Maya Ako, Ako Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in Kettenstadt. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock to not only local community members, but also to all those who are familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity and the lack of warning signs to her peers, they've not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. I think, uh, feel free to clip this if I'm right, in the end yikes i feel like the only way this game can lose me at this point is if um the protagonist killed maya <laughs> if the protagonist shoved her off the damn roof um i really hope that doesn't happen because that was that would undermine a huge amount of the game please don't spoil it in the chat but that would be stupid that would make me sad <sighs> That being said, the journey was good, um, but that would um, make me mad about everything <laughs> and undermine a lot of the themes. Wait. She killed herself half a year ago. And that means I've been here this whole time. What will it take for you to forgive me? Please. End this. Just let me die. Again, I think the voice acting is quite good in this. Like, this voice actor... She fucking went for it. <laughs> Is this me? I was gonna say. I was gonna say that the graffiti looked like it was reaching out to a second person. Their impulses, their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people. It's actually really sad. <laughs> oh my god, the branches are on her cut arm? I didn't notice that. That's so teen. That's so teen. But yeah, when I saw this image, I just thought like it seems like there should there should be a second, like a mirrored person. I don't know. Her art doesn't suck for a teen. She's a teen. Teens don't know about subtlety yet. And you know what? If you're going to make a Silent Hill game without subtlety, having it be based on a teenage perspective makes a fuckload of sense. It makes sense. A hundred percent. <laughs> what if this is good shit? Yo, what the hell? Yeah. Are we gonna get bad now? I'm scared. I'm still scared. I'm still scared. I was so happy. Oh. I liked the first picture I drew. I could 
could have had a different life, too. I guess someone finally did love me. This is what fucking Bloober Team wishes they could do. Uh, this is like someone played a Bloober Team game and was like, I could do it better. And then they did. Right? It's reminiscent of a Bloober Team game, which I think is perhaps... Perhaps a reason why people are just like, ew, about this, because it reminds them of Bloober Team, but it's like, what if the... What if Bloober Team fucking pulled it off? <laughs> like... I don't know. This is what this feels like to me. You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Only what should I do? Connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. What? The strongest animals don't form groups. What? They act alone. They need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward. I never look back to 18-year-old me. What the fuck? That was good! What the fuck is everyone talking about? <laughs> Yo! God damn it! Shit! That was good, what the fuck? 
where did this come from? I'm mad at Konami. It's not, it's not nonsense. It's not Mary Elizabeth McGoon. I don't think. Oh my god, that was good. What the fuck? Hey, Huevos Rancheros gets it! What the fuck is everyone talking about? It was good! What the fuck? I really hope that this... <sighs> oh man, this was good! <laughs> it was good and it was free! And it came out of nowhere and it was good! What the fuck? God! Yeah! Who made this? What the fuck? It's good. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I loved it. That rule. That fucking... That was great. God. I just... Uh, I can't wrap my head around this in general. This was fine. More than fine. More than fine. <laughs> I wish there was more puzzles, but this was a fucking Silent Hill game. I'm losing my mind. I don't know what people are pissed off about. This had empathy. Like, that's that's the big thing for me. They did this, the tune. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like the abuse backstory... For me... It wasn't terribly tacked on because it kind of... It, it led... How do I how do I explain the vibe here? I mean, it, it I, I I feel like it might have been I don't know where to approach this from. From a certain angle, I want to approach this from a uh, how do I get a player to feel bad for this character? Obviously, because a lot of people, a lot of gamers, don't feel bad for a female protagonist, especially a young female protagonist. Especially a POC gay <laughs> young female protagonist. <laughs> so maybe they have to amp it up with some childhood abuse. But that being said, that being said, I feel like the childhood abuse, you know, subplot, if you were to call it that, it didn't feel out of place. It didn't feel tacked on to me. It felt like it supported the psychology of the character why she's so desperate for approval why she wants to be understood you know i don't know that made sense to me personally uh the incest thing did not pan out and yeah actually i'm grateful for that um i didn't i that that's the part i didn't need that's the part i didn't actually need in the game is the incest implications there it is I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I 
Gay. Gay. They did it again. Good for them. Good. Actually good. Helvetica, I must protest. Helvetica saying the game ends on Silent Hill. Feeling suicidal? Let's go shopping. Is what made me what made me think, fuck this game. I must protest. Because when you're that lonely, that matters. Like, I don't know, that matters. Someone just texting you casually and being like, hey! Let's do something. We're going out. You're not doing this. We're doing that, actually. And sometimes, you know, and, and this is not to shame the person that just said this. Like, absolutely not. Like, you're, you're not wrong or anything like that. I don't begrudge you. But it, it matters reaching out like that. And that's why... They're putting this here, right? <laughs> Bob found a positive pregnancy test in the garbage can during his run? And we were like, whose is this? And it was so confusing. I wonder if that was, you know, her mom's or something. But I don't know what matters from my perspective and my experience. It would make sense that it would be Maya's, uh, especially cause, I don't know. there was a boy in the mix. I'm not really sure what the boy was about exactly, but the boy was interested in Maya. So if there was a positive pregnancy, test, that would be the thing. Um, and yeah, that kind of just comes into confluence with the whole like high school drama stuff. But I don't know. This hit for me. I liked it. <laughs> and the kids in school were calling her a slut. Yeah. That all tracks. That all tracks. <laughs> oh, Maya's boyfriend could be Amelie's brother. Could be. Yo, you know, I just, I can't be mad at this. I can't be mad at this. <laughs> This ended up being very empathetic. The title screen changed and made me cry. <laughs> this ended up this ended up far, far more empathetic than I thought it would be. And um a low low key, I I thank the people that were warning me that I would hate it. <laughs> Because perhaps it made me go easier on it? I really don't know my own psychology, right? Like, what's what's the thing? Like, am I going into something with a negative opinion and determined to hate it? Or am I a big contrarian? It turns out I'm just a person. And I take shit in as it comes. And I really try to evaluate it as it comes into my brain. Um... But yeah, I, I, I super did not hate this. <laughs> this is better than Silent Hill 4! <laughs> this did not suck! I'm, I'm aside myself. Yeah, I do agree that Amelie's brother was too many cooks in the kitchen. We did not need that. Um, Amelie... Uh, absolutely uh, should have should have been an only child who cares about the uh, like uh, mildly uh, what's going on there like incest sort of vibe to it um I don't know Yes, of course, of course. I I hope it does not need to be said that obviously, obviously, I hope. Um, let's go shopping is not a cure-all for suicidal ideation. Obviously, 
obviously. I really, really, really hope that that is clear, that I don't think that that is a solution for something like that. Okay. But it super matters. <laughs> and when you're a kid, when you're a teenager, things have a different weight to them that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Arlo. Oh boy. That's really good. <laughs> I have an open mind. I do. I do. I liked this. Okay. I actually liked this. I liked it the whole way through. I did. Okay. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was spooky, but not scary, which I also enjoy that they were not jump scaring me. Okay. And I went into it with a negative expectation. All right. <laughs> The way people are mean to me about, like, disliking Sam Barlow games, like, I go into them like, Oh, you're expecting them to be bad, so of course you hate them. I hope this is, like, evidence against that. Because, like, I really, 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 really thought I would not like this because of how everybody was acting around it. Oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> Sam Barlow wrote this one. Imagine, imagine. I would, I would gain respect. I would gain respect, obviously. Hopefully, if I'm not a, a total hypocrite. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, I, yeah, I was waiting for this game to drop the ball and it didn't really, it didn't really drop the ball, honestly. Sam Barlow writing women. Ugh. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how to process this. I liked it. <laughs> Thanks, Chris Person. Hi. But yeah, I don't know. Um, the response to this is really interesting. That being said, it's only been out for a friggin' day and a half, two days? Or something? I don't... It's it's super recent. And, uh... I don't know how many, um... You know, AFABs have played this. Or anything, I don't know. But I thought, you know, it connected with me. Um... I don't know, it just, it just hit a lot of things that hit close to home without me being, you know, somebody who was, like, grossly abused by my family or anything. My family rules, so thank goodness. Um, <laughs> and it's free! It's free. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't, you know, JG Mento saying, I feel maybe the game should have confirmed my anomaly were no longer in a relationship more clearly. I don't even know if they were ever in a relationship explicitly. That's a thing. That's, that's teenage shit, right? To be obsessed with someone, to have them like kind of low-key confirm that they're interested in you but never make the jump to be like we're together we're a thing we have we're in a relationship you know um that's a whole thing that's a whole thing that i relate to at least like it was I understand that it was like a little over the top, but also at the same time, it's just like bullies are not that creative. They just say the same thing, the same thing over and over again until you form an eating disorder. I'm surprised. Okay, Silent Hill. In 
adjacentness to like, hey, there should be queer stories, there should be POC stories, there should be like eating disorder related related stories because it's just like that. It's a like whole thing. It's a whole thing that's super empathetic and it's super body horror and it's super like it's easy to get into the mindset of why that's terrifying, you know, and why that is like resonant in the human soul to want to have control over, right? Like, I feel like that's like a, a thing that could be explored in a similar way uh, to POC stories, to LGBT plus stories and stuff like that. I don't know. It felt over the top in a way that uh, teenage bullshit is. Yeah, I felt like it was playing into the kayfabe. If you're going to make a Silent Hill game that is inc incredibly on the nose, it better be about a fucking teenage girl or a teenage boy. That, just, that, that makes total sense for me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't mean to be like the the big like defense force for this game or anything. I just, I just, I don't know. I just think this game got a bad rap. And I think this was honestly quite successful. And I think you can compare it quite easily to the Silent Hill comics and how not quite successful those are, you know? Like, uh, if you haven't read the Silent Hill comics, there's like two that are good, but there's like eight of them or something. There's a ton of them. Um, and they are hard to read. They're hard to parse. The, the art is so confusing and they're so bizarre. Um, I, I kind of like them, but it just doesn't, ha it doesn't hit like in a way that Silent Hill should hit. So like this feels like if you took a Silent Hill comp, one of the good Silent Hill comics, the premise of it, and converted it to a video game and kind of fleshed it out a bit more. And it's just like, hey, that's okay, actually. Okay, that's fine. It's better than Homecoming, shit. Oh God, I don't remember which two are good. <laughs> I really don't remember which two are good. I, I super, super don't. Um, is there a reason for this to be Silent Hill associated? Not, I mean, I would say no, but I would also say it's not out of place in the Silent Hill canon or vibe. Um, uh, canon wise, it is uh, strange with regards to it being uh, located in Germany. But the thing is, is that here's the thing, Silent Hill. I'm just gonna go to this other screen where I'm talking to the chat. Silent Hill is not entirely always in Silent Hill. And that has been evident since the third game. It's a precedent. Like, it's it's not bizarre, okay? Silent Hill 3 had crazy shit happening outside of Silent Hill at the start of the game. And Heather had to travel to Silent Hill to do some other shit. But, like, crazy shit would ha was happening to her in... It wasn't South Ashfield. It was some other fucking place. But... Same with Silent Hill 4, that was all in South Ashfield apartments, that was way out of Silent Hill's territory. Uh, you don't go to Silent Hill, I think, in Silent Hill 4. Also, I'm like red in the nose because I cried a little. I cried a little, I cried a little, I'm sorry. <laughs> But it's not unprecedented that Silent Hill would take place outside of Silent Hill. That being said, I do think it's bizarre that Silent Hill Ascension is so removed from Silent Hill, even in the lore. Who the fuck is Radcliffe? Who is that? Who the hell is that? Norway, very far away. <laughs> but it's like, okay, I think that this is taking place in Germany, but it's just like, okay. There is... I have always thought that Silent Hill should be a bit of an anthology situation. Like like Twilight Zone, right? 
I feel like it's strong in that way. It doesn't need to be located in a physical, literal space. But I like the setting. I like Silent Hill, the town. And also like so many of the Silent Hill games, like they technically take place in Silent Hill, but they are so, um, the way that they've changed the town in such a huge way where it's like, okay, I think we have four mental hospitals now. <laughs> like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why are there four mental hospitals? Um, stuff like that, um, where it's just like, okay, the town itself is getting bizarre in a way that is more bizarre than was initially intended <laughs> in like a Twin Peaksy sort of, you know, Stephen Kingy sort of way. Um, Silent Hill does need that much mental health, though. You're right, Chris. Was Silent Hill the friends we made along the way? Who's to say? Who's to say? Bob X asked something earlier. Do you think Amelie was a part of the reason Maya was bullied? <laughs> sure, why not? Why not? Teens have found way less reasons to bully somebody. Anita, does not matter. Does not matter which bitch you mention in because teens will find any reason to torture another kid. Was Anita the reason Maya was bullied? Sure, why not? Sure. She has like a little obsessed Toady, who is trying to copy the more successful artists, so they're uh, kind of it snowballs, right? I don't know. I feel like that's uh, feasible. Oh no, I do wish they went a little more gay, but that's fine. It's okay. I don't need to have it explicit. I feel like that was, you know. The rest of the game was on the nose enough that I feel like if they were more explicit about the gay relationship, it would have been like, whoosh, you missed it. You soared right over what was decent about that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and 100%. Just, just four. Teens don't have it figured out. I, you know, she might not have even known that she was gay. None of these kids could have known for sure that they were being gay as hell. I didn't know I was being gay as hell. Being obsessed with certain people in high school and I went to an all-girl high school. I didn't know. Idiot. <laughs> But yeah, um, I like this. In conclusion, and in summary, and I'll, um, uh, <sighs> respect to any game that makes me cry, honestly. Hell yeah. The game doesn't indicate Anita got any better than not currently committing suicide. Assuming all her issues are fixed, is attributing a bunch of other media's faults unfairly to this one? I mean, th does the game have to indicate? I, I feel like just, I feel like the ending does indicate that she's willing to get better. She's willing to fight for it. You know, I feel like that's the big point of the ending is that something little, as long as it's there, as long as there's like a little life preserver out there for you, 
It could make the difference. It could make the difference. It's not saying it will, right? I feel like that's a crucial um, uh, media literacy thing we need to talk about is that uh, something that happens in something is not an endorsement or something that is a hundred percent certain fact, you know, like that, that's something that you need to grapple with yourself as a premise. It's not saying as an axiom, just do this, right? If someone's going to commit suicide, just call them up and say, let's go shopping. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. That's absurd. No one is saying that. Like, give some credit to the writers. You know, give some credit to the to the the triumph of the human spirit to find hope in places. Like, I feel like this is a very I don't know. It's an angsty game, but it has this glimmer of hope at the end that is like for me undeniable. And it's just like, sometimes there is like a little thing that, that keeps you hooked on being like, let me try more, right? And sometimes that is the difference. Let me try more. Silent Hill 2 is a fucking angsty game. Yeah. Right? Like, eh. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't, I feel like, I feel like it's doing it perfectly fine. I don't know. I don't know how to further articulate it, but I think I think it super has its heart in the right place. There was a couple stumble points that are not enough to detract from its main thesis for me, which is I think it's very aware of um, its angstiness and its teenageriness. And I think it, it's it's taking that in stride and it's taking that um very it's it's very considerate i think i don't know this is a situation where i feel like you know i'm i'm the big like negative silent hill fan right <laughs> like people talk about me online like oh she's crazy she's so negative crazy stupid bullshit that I don't acknowledge generally speaking but it's just like this is a big affront to that idea <laughs> right <laughs> I don't know but I don't know this hit I liked it um I didn't get super frustrated by it at any point I imagine I understand, by the way, I imagine if uh, people got super frustrated by that final section where if you don't realize the phone is kind of guiding you to places, absolutely, you're not wrong to be frustrated by that. And I feel like that would, that is a detriment to the final emotional hit of things, right? That's not crazy. You're not wrong to be frustrated by that. Absolutely. But I feel like, you know, my playthrough experience, it was just like nothing... Nothing crazy stopped me, even as close to the things that have stopped me in like layers of fear, one and two, any of Bloober Team's games. <laughs> Bloober Team's games are so much more frustrating than this game and have like way less going for them emotionally than this. So I don't know. I just, that's, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I'm too drunk and I'm rambling and it's fine. Thank you for listening this long. Thank you for watching. Hello, YouTube. You're super hot. Thank you for listening this long. Mwah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm at least saying goodbye to the VOD at this point. Goodbye. You've, you've listened to me long enough. Watch me live if you want to see me rant even longer. Goodbye. Mwah. <laughs>